But yeah, I hope you're both doing very, very well. Well, I hope all three of you are doing very, very well. And that is when the cow shat everywhere. Huh? Nah, it's fine. Your stream just started. I thought I'd give it a funny, uh... Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Uh, funny hell. Chime in with you. Do you can you still play? Can't play this one. Not long rest, Jeff. Yeah, after the long rest, you should be able to play it. Oh, wow, he's got a violin. Oh, fuck it. You got another instrument other than drums. I'm not sure the drums are in this, which is why I can't uh, fucking play it. They should, they will be, likely, in this. Hold on, let me see. I'll have something yeah, in my yeah. traveler's chest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, you stopped. Hold on, I'm going to get another instrument. All right. It's where he comes out of the tuba. Hang on. Uh, do you fancy a violin or a lute? Uh, what do you, what, what does Q play? Q plays a violin, what do you play? Uh, I play a lute currently, but I can play pretty much what, anything. Where's your lyre? Where's the spider lyre? Oh yeah, there's a lyre somewhere actually, hmm. hold on. Uh, there what, you go, there's what, a lyre. My brain's gone spongy, what the fuck is a lyre? It's a it's... harp, hand harp. Yeah. Uh, you might not be able to do it because you haven't long rested yet. But we can give it a go. Do you have Sing For Me? I've yeah, got we'll... every song. Hey! I'm gonna need to rip all the in-game music for this yeah. to Probably my can. chill track. Hello. I, I'm gonna have Hello. it on my preparing for LARP track. Preparing for LARP. Yeah. Playlist. I think. Sorry, I might misspeak. A... Was this the credit song for Divinity 2? I don't know. A, a lot of it is Divinity music, but some yeah. of it is. Well, oh, have you got the Queen's High Seas now? Uh, yeah, we Gersh. should all have that. I it's think, but I've got. I've got a special song. Can I try and play that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what sure. is it? It's unique to this instrument. The, the power. power? No, no, we have the power. Yeah, we've got the oh, power as yeah. well. Let's go. But... Oh. Oh, that's, that's a different a type of Jesus. power. That's it's not called the power, it's just play the, the lyre. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, okay. Right, so what song should I play? Do the power. Oh, the Queen of the High Seas. What are we doing? I'll do Divinity then. <laughs> well, this is a train wreck. It sort of works. Yeah. Uh, I'm just switched. Nope. All right. Oh, are we moved. doing? Are we doing Queen's High Seas? All right. Queen's High Seas. Yeah. Right. Queen's High Seas. Hang on. Oh, for some reason I stopped playing. Hold on. I think I'm playing the right one. It needs the drum. It's not the most... Uh, hang on, let me go get my drum. It's not the most sophisticated thing in the world, but... Sometimes you just need a drum. You need <laughs> your percussion, don't you? Yeah, you do. We can't, we can't it. all be the melody. We need some percussion. Hang on, <laughs> I'll be the percussion guy. I'm coming over. Queen's High Seas. Oh no, I need to have a full sleep. Alright, well we can do it again after a long rest. Yeah, I'll be the drummer now. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, uh, this is so cool though. Hmm. So. Right, oh, hi fine. everyone in the hmm. chat of all of our streams, and uh, welcome to Chapter 3 of Baldur's Gate. So, uh, what was it? So the last thing we did is that we entered Baldur's Gate proper, and we had a bit of a huge fucking revelation. In the context of a giant elder brain coming to attack the city, don't ask, um, we've discovered that Dirge here, the man with his nipples out to what the left, 
caused it, started it. It was his yeah. idea. Yeah, his fucking idea. <laughs> You're the evil mastermind of this whole damn thing. Apparently, yeah, but I have absolutely no memory of it. But fuck it, let me stop it because uh, this shit's gone off the rails. Yeah. So essentially, if you've got someone with the dark urge trait, it seems to be a bit like bringing... Sorry, what's her name? Uh, Shadow Heart to the Temple of Shah? As in, you've got someone with a lore-specific connection to the events in question? Yeah. And um, apparently, so apparently, the dark urge just means you used to be on the side of the antagonist. Yeah, I used to be one of the dead three from the sounds of it. Yeah. Um, until, uh, um... Yeah, I think they're called the are... Chosen of the Dead Three. Yeah. I can't remember all of the the woman's name. Um, keeps... Oreo, Oris, Ori, Ori something. Oh, Oreo, yeah, no, Oreo. I agree. Oreo, Oreo something. That's her name now. I, I'm trying to remember uh, these names now. Orin, Orin, Orin sorry. Orin, Orin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't remember. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So Oreo, um... <laughs> no, Orin. Orin. Yeah, so Orin apparently, um, essentially wiped my mind, and either tried to kill me or something. But, hmm. yeah. Uh, oh, I've got the door bro. back. So, essentially, uh, the whole big bad plot has been kicked off by three, uh, the dead three. So, three death-aligned gods of various different flavors. And it seems that they are trying to do some big evil plot. And Dirge was one of the chosen of the dead three. But hmm. uh, until he lost his position, some, someone else took it over. A stabby lady. Yeah. So... Our goal, still, for those just joining, is we need to stop the big bad plot, but, uh, yeah, we also need to, um, sorry, what was the, the most recent thing we were told? We, we were just told by the antagonist that there's a traitor among us. Yes, so apparently someone, uh, uh, I forget exactly what he said, but I think someone has been passing information along, was what he was alluding to. There's did a he say skinwalker in the camp somewhere, basically. But did he mean there's literally a skinwalker, like an aberration, or does he mean there's just a traitor, that someone's a traitor? I don't know. I mean, we'll find out, I guess. He just said that there's someone in the camp that shouldn't shouldn't be, or is betraying the, uh, I guess, the quest. Or he's sort of like pulling a five-head chess move and he's trying <clears throat> to turn us against our own. Yeah. Uh, with, uh, yeah, oh, there's a traitor in your midst. So, when, when, yeah, there isn't. <laughs> who would be the most likely to be the traitor? But didn't we say that, like, Asterion is, like, the only, like, guy yeah. that's, like, yeah, yeah he's really weird. quite shady. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's more that he doesn't have, seem to have any direct connection to any of the events, as far as we can tell? As, yeah, as far as we've experienced. Well, but actually, I, I, Karlak, I suppose, doesn't really have a skin in this game. Yeah, so I know that a lot of people have been, like, Oh, you haven't been exploring the characters in all the wrong way. But are like, you, are uh, you getting that too? Yeah, yeah. My, but, uh, my audience is surprisingly touchy about it. Well, so I think that the answer to that is is that when you play this game with four custom characters in co-op, the 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 the, the, the side NPCs do just become that. They become side NPCs. Yeah. That their, their story when you're playing them is incredibly enriching and baked into the world and fascinating. They're really well-implemented NPC. But when you play four-player co-op with custom characters, they basically just become sideshows. Yeah. They still have a little bit of influence over the plot, but it's nowhere near as deep and enriching as if you were to actually play them or indeed have one of them in your party or something like that, yeah. that you could change out for other people. So that that's the reality there, is that... Because we're playing custom characters, we're getting sort of a surface level version of the game. What's going on with like Vlakith and all of that probably goes into way more detail if you take Lazelle in your party. The mm. um, intricacies around the Sharon sort of people, if you take Shadowheart, you know, there's probably way more depth into into everything. Yeah. Uh, even the story at large, if you take those sort of story driven characters, it's just not something that we necessarily experience as a four co-op yeah. players. I'm sure we'll all do our own solo playthroughs at some point. Hmm. Okay. I uh, I know what I'm going to do for my solo playthrough. What are you going to do? I'm going to do bard again, but I'm going to be a <laughs> half-orc bard uh -huh. who leads the orchestra. Oh god. Ugh. It's terrible. How long have you how long have you been thinking about that? <laughs> I li literally just come to me. <laughs> right. uh, great great yeah. minds. Um so what should we do? Should we go to bed and see if a traitor tries to slit one of our yeah. throats? Yeah. Either that I mean, or Halfling Barbarian, because that's just funny. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, so uh, for, for, at least for my playthrough, uh, for my next playthrough, mm -hmm. I'm thinking of uh, going, because uh, for the last, for the two Divinity streams and for this one, I've played a sort of a shady, sleazy, cutthroat slash thief 
kind of guy. Next one, I want to play like a paladin who takes his oath of like, <laughs> like sort of law and order, oh, like re- the ro- yeah, yeah, protect yeah, the weak, <laughs> yeah, really seriously. Safeguard like, the law, uphold the public trust. Exactly, yeah, just just well, like you know, you know what I'm going to do. Uh, so, same as divinity, lady lump. Lady lump. Yeah. Just okay, and and how does it differ from from it, male lump, lump with tits? <laughs> <laughs> lump with tits. Lump with tits. Lump, lump, lump with yep. tits. Yes. Uh, oh, perfect. A deep, well thought out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> lump with lumps. Right. Um, so, what should we do, gentlemen? Um, I think we'll, so. We need to hit the sack. We thank need you, to go Zarek, to sleep. Pan Bunny. Um, thank you, Taz and then, Senpai. And yeah, Margo. we'll see whether or not thank you, uh, all anything you. reveals themselves. It yeah. would be really nice if we could find a letter by someone that says, I am the traitor. I don't know how they're gonna. I don't know how we're gonna figure it out. Play, Maybe play, they'll rev- Each of you place a bet now, and we'll see who was right. I'm betting with us. Ginger kid. Ginger kid. <laughs> Ginger kid's cat. You can't. <laughs> you're taking Ginger the cat. Kid's cat. Q was a bet. <laughs> Who's the traitor? Um, scratch. Scratch the dog. Oh, no. no, he's a good boy. Get, get your dog's <laughs> name out. Of, get my dog's name out of your mouth. You right, Okay. We will right. see right, who was right. If, yeah, if I'm right, I'm charging you double for that. That was shocking. <laughs> Ask me my opinion and shout me down. <laughs> Give me cop fucking cut. No, not my best. Not the best boy. <laughs> uh... it'd, be, it'd be more of a shock for you guys. Right. How do we go to bed? Uh... Where's the camp? Uh, the campfire here normally? Questions. Where's the end? Just for the campfire. Slum- okay, there we go. <laughs> As you're just slumming it off, I think. All right. Nice. But yeah, so we're we're um, essentially. Trying to stop giant brain from eating Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Oh, hello. Ooh. Oh, conversation. Ooh, hello. <laughs> What's going on? What the fuck? Oh. Apparently, I'm going to meet uh, the Emperor. Yeah, who's got like a fucking little. There we go. Okay, so this is private dialogue. Here we go. So, hi there, chat. How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his Netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been... brittle. Its rebellion against Orin and Gortash has been fierce, even as it executes their final orders. Once those orders are complete, there is a good chance it will break free. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't. Unwelcome. Hmm. I don't try. Chat, you might hate me for this, but I genuinely have nothing but disgust for this creature. Uh, it's done nothing but manipulate us right from the the moment the word go, appearing to us as like a, a, a it, basically lying to us right from the very beginning. So it's like I I don't you know even this even this now I still can't trust this. It seems to be working so hard to be human when it's not it's not it is a it is a what is it a lawful evil monster an aberration this thing is not human we need to destroy this thing not work with it what are you doing trying to guard us the brain is restless but i am distracted and my lack of focus is endangering us i'm haunted by memories they are relentless i can think of nothing no one else. Okay. Uh, you can think of um, think of nothing. No one else. What? Who do you think of? What? Duke Stelmay, or Berlin, as I knew her. I wasn't ready for her death. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. Yeah, because 
So your your race is predisposed to dominate others and bring them into being thralls, dude. I would be already if it weren't for the fact that you need us. Okay. Did you manipulate her like you manipulated me? I see that you are unable to let that go. But do not forget that I trusted you with my life, as you trusted me with yours. Manipulation or not, we need each other. My relationship with Berlin was similar in this regard, though less dramatic. In life, she was my business partner, back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. <laughs> Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I concede the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. Right. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Uh, sorry, again, I, I feel like the chat is simply going to turn against me at this. Uh, you're going to, because you know the, the story of Baldur's Gate, so you know what I don't know currently. You, you, you probably think that, okay, this is all true and everything he's saying is completely, I just don't buy it. I'm sorry, I just don't believe. Like, this creature has lied to us from the beginning. I, I don't trust it. <clears throat> This whole story that he's caught, that he's that he's created, uh, maybe that is the law of the game. Maybe is maybe that is truth. But from my position in my first playthrough, it sounds like I'm being hideously fucking manipulated. I need to kill this fucking thing. This is a monster. This yeah. I I need to quickly get my way out of this bond and cut its head off. So, you know. <laughs> I'm I'm probably not sounding very sympathetic there. Uh, probably, but it's just. This thing is a monster. I'm not going to squeeze its hand. <laughs> um, yeah, you're trying to manipulate me. It's not working. I know what you are. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that makes me like a D&D racist, I guess, for not trusting the lawful evil mind flayer aberration. You would do well to be more like me. Now leave. Wait, you invaded my dream. <laughs> you get out my dream. Right. Yeah, uh, essentially, I'm hoping at the end we can kill the fucking Elder Brain and kill that thing before it gets away. Before it fucks up shit for everyone else. Okay. Hello! Hello, good morning. Gentlemen. Good morning, I had a weird dream. So did I. Yeah. Did it, no one, no one just checking, no one boned their Mind Flayer. No, I didn't give him a taser, <laughs> a tug, or anything like that. I mean, given the length that you were chatting with him, I'm wondering if it's you. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Well, yeah, he, I don't know. that. I mean, at least for me, I don't mm -hmm. know whether you guys were just like, yeah, I'm not buying it. That felt but, yeah. oddly sincere. It, it did, but uh, I, I, I can't trust it. I just can't trust like, it. Like, um... Like maybe I, I was just saying maybe I'm I like a D and D I, racist, I, but it's like part, part the, of me does. Part of you does. In, in just D and D, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just D and D. But it's like it's a lawful evil aberration that tries to manipulate and dominate all mortals around it, and here it is being sincere. Maybe it is being sincere, but it's like I I feel like I can't tell. I can't trust it. Oh hello, have we lost him? Uh, I'm still here. You mean about Q? Yeah, he he went robot and then he deceived. Maybe we have lost him. He'll be back. What, what do, you, do you think, Doobie? Uh, I think it's trying to manipulate us. I mean, I didn't bang the squid because he's not my type, but that's the only thing I, uh, the only thing stopping me. Yeah, it, it's not. It, 
It's not a human. It doesn't have the same... It's not one of us. Th this thing, it's, it's, it's a parasite whose entire life cycle involves... Well, firstly, eating brains, but secondly, dominating thralls. Hello? Hello, you're back. Yeah, sorry, I'm... I'm got my guts out. Um, uh, you, you went robotic mid-sentence. Yeah, um, so... Yeah, I... I don't know, like... On the one hand... Yeah, okay, fine, it's... it's probably trying to manipulate us, but it, it felt oddly sincere. It, it, I don't know. But he could have tried to appeal to a, a various different... I don't know. It, it just felt oddly real, oddly believable. Yeah. Um, like, uh, maybe maybe it is just a long play. Um, I feel like you're at... I don't know. Like, I, I, feel I, yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like the sincerity card wouldn't work with just every, anyone. You know what I mean? Like, I felt like that was genuinely from... He wasn't trying to appeal to, to gold or honor or, or or anything like that. It was just him talking about sort of, I guess, part of his past from before he was a mind flare again, if it was believable. Mm. That, that sort of him having, or whoever he was before he became a mind flare, if indeed it was sincere, was a bit more believable than the whole Batman arc. Yeah, like that was that was a bit. It was a bit more sort of grounded than him, you know, running through and eating the skulls of. Yeah, criminals. only the only the deserving and and. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It just like yeah, it, uh, at least insofar as like adding some believability, that seemed to work quite well. Mm. What what did, what did you think, social? Uh, no, no, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, very insightful. Sorry, I w <laughs> I think I. I ate like half a peking duck whilst going through that conversation. I'm just finishing up. Sorry. <laughs> so the the mind plays. Really sincere. He's sincere mind and he's just stuffing his face in the dream. <laughs> huh? What? Well, yeah. This peking oh, duck is great. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, what was that? Yeah. I, I don't I want know. some calamari. I mean, he's like. Yeah. Mind, mind flayers are. are mind controlling freaks. Um. It, you know, he could have drawn us in and pretended to create a sob story for all we know. Like, yeah. the problem is we don't know. And because yeah. he's, because of what he is, he's very hard to trust. But yeah. at the same time, I don't trust him with an elder brain. No, no I God, don't, no. I, no. No, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't give him an elder brain, but that, that seemed to be a, a sort of... He, he seemed to be a bit spaced out. And again, whether it was all like the thing is, is that you know you, you can always you can question down to the earth or not whether or not it was yeah. sincere. Mm. I mean, but even if it was sincere, he could have been using it as a mind fuck for you to feel pity. Yeah, yeah. It, instinctively, I believe it. You I, do? If, if 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 it was if it was a piece of as uh, if it was a theatrical piece, mm. it worked. I, I, instinctively, I believe it. But, the story and and his feelings for this this lady. Maybe I'm just a piece of shit, but I think we need to just kill it. As in, I don't buy it, and it's a monster, and we need to kill it before it hurts other people. Before it makes its own elder brain, you know, fucking 100 years from now. We'll see how it develops. We'll see We'll see when, when the time comes, when the, when the moment comes, mm. like that, that you know, the, the hammer stroke. When it, it, we'll see if he reveals a true hand, you know, if, he re yeah. if, if, if the veil, if the veil mm -hmm. breaks. But, but the trouble, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm just worried that we won't be in a position your, to do anything. Your favorite person wants to talk, Digby. Hey! The ginger kid. Call it, 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 call it. Hang on, how much shit have I got now? <clears throat> oh. Right. Nope, we listen. He looks the exact same as he did ten years ago. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't make that fucking deal. Fancy a coat, I suppose. <laughs> the Archduke of Baldur's Gate. He doesn't Gate. know that we're going to betray shout. him later on. Fair mm. enough. Now that he's within reach, I don't intend to let him slip away. Ooh. Sorry, is she talking about Gortash? Yes, talking about yeah. Gortash. We also... Lazale. Uh, yeah, Gortash Lizelle. sold her... Into slavery in Avernus. Oh, it was her. Uh, sorry, it was him, was it? Mm. Yeah. The tadpole reveals your mind to Lazel. She knows you refuse to bargain with Raphael. The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp. Why? 
Why do I have the difficult conversation? Why do yeah. I get the curse? <laughs> so, what, is, so what does she ask? The prince of a comet? Uh, yeah, yeah, so that's Orpheus, the guy that's shackled in the dimension by the uh, by the Elithid. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, she, so she's obviously aware through our tadpole connection that we obviously, uh, Raphael made us a deal, say, release the prince, maybe he'll help you. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the hammer to release him and, you know, then give me the... The Netherese crown. Yeah. At the end of it all. Um, didn't, didn't we give like a non-committal to answer? To, uh, um, we, answer? We, no, we, we kind of said no to yeah. it. We, we kind of Did turned we? it down. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Surely we did uh, it for the number yeah, three. three. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, we weren't yeah. about to let him become some sort of arch devil supreme. You know, it, it, it's it's like a monkey's paw, isn't it? When yeah. you make a deal with the devil. You know, you get what you want in a way, but what will it cost you? Um, and so, yeah, we might, you know, have sought the elder brother. A senior? I don't know what house, which house? ...from Avernus tomorrow. So we didn't want him to become some sort of evil archdevil. Why? Is he any worse than Asmodeus, do you suppose? The reigning serpent. He who harvests souls to fight an unwinnable blood war. Worse than Mephistopheles, the devil who slayed his own son. He whose experiments threatened to melt his own frozen throne. <sighs> Your mind is made up. But there's another option. Glory be to the comet. The devil keeps the Orphic hammer in his lair. If oh. we can find a way in, we can take it. You guess correctly. I'll use it to smash the true heirs' bonds. Yisk, Githgar, Tefki, crash it. The Githyanki will be free. First to Voss, then to Raphael's House of Hope. Ah. Just don't expect a lavish spread awaiting us this time. Okay. Oh yes, he did say so, that, didn't he? He revealed. Yes. Who guessed? Fucking hell! Who guessed that last stream? Someone guessed that we should go to the House of Hope. I did. So you did. Well be. done. Yeah. So that is legit. We can go to the House of Hope, take the hammer. I guess so. And then take away Raphael's. <laughs> Bargaining, Bargaining. Yeah, that's the Position. one. And then, and then we can make him a monkey's poor thing. Oh god, right? he's gonna fucking he'd yeah. fight tooth and nail to stop us in that. Yeah. Um so All we right. can be like, hey, you get the nether east <laughs> crown, but you have to forfeit your left foot or something weird. I don't know. And just 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 yeah. inconvenience him. And we can always just give the hammer to Lazale when we're done, you know. Yeah. Once we once we got the tampons out of our brains, do we care about the prince? Um, no, but, well, yeah, I suppose we have to get the tadpoles out of our brain. Although yeah. he probably won't be very happy that we choose to extend his, um, I chose to side, yeah. He well, hopefully the, the adventure's over by then and I'm going to go. <laughs> you're going to just we'll write, go our separate ways. Yeah, write him, write him a text, yeah. write him a letter and then say, sorry. Well, no, no, I, I'm saying we clear out before he's even free. He didn't even see us. Right, I see. <laughs> we weren't here. He was, uh... he was, Yeah. Where was Why that Icelandic pop gang? Thieves Guild, you have been visited and this item procured. Aha. Speaking of the Thieves Guild, I still have the Zentarim lockbox from the first act. Thank you, Derek. Um, that we need oh, to, you need to deliver it. To yeah, yeah. Day, don't you? So yeah. yeah. All right. So I still I still have it in my camp chest. I was told that should we ever decide to open it, mm -hmm. Zentarim would know and it, bad things would happen. But obviously, as uh, my, my shady past, I know you don't cross the Zentarim. And uh, while I'm not exactly a courier, whatever is inside can't be worth the hassle of having this Zenter in put a fucking mark out on you. It's just not worth it. So what should we do now? Well, back to the city, I guess, or leave. I'll click leave camp. What have we meant to find a traitor? What do we found loads of traitors? A traitor. Traitor. Well, I mean, should, maybe they'll reveal themselves. Maybe we've got to follow a trail. Maybe Orin knows. Maybe Orin doesn't. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think back to um, the place we were at, <clears throat> and uh, go from there. So what we do, what we did manage to do, is rather than everything coming to a, a head in the the sort of the throne room of the Archduke, I guess now in front of everyone, we we made sort of the tactical decision not to fight Gortash here and now, mm. but to uh, sort of feint an an alliance with him, mm. um, in order to sort of. I guess preserve a little bit of peace right now. Yeah. Because again, if we assassinate the Archduke, what who is now the Archduke, yeah. In in the middle of the throne room, every single party in the, in the city is going to be baying for blood. They don't know this sinister plot is playing out in front of them. Yeah. Um. So we made the decision to not kill 
Gortash here and now. So he um, wants us to go and find Orin, the lady that replaced and, and, Dirge, and kill her. Yeah. as one of the chosen of the Dead Three. So, so why not? Let's do that. Let's find Orin and kill her, and then we've got two crystals to control the the crown. I'm just thinking: do we want to explore the rest of Rivington? Orin's not going anywhere, and Goldhash is obviously not going to come yeah. after us. Oh, did we explore Rivington? I'm just going to speak to. We've got some more stuff we can explore. If you go through the door back downstairs, there's Mazora. She wants. I think we're closing off her line of dialogue here. Is there? Hang on. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. Why is I'm she sure here? I'm sure you agree. And to think the drama's just stuff. You see, Gortash has had Will's father relocated. That was fast. I thought Gortash would have more use for the Duke in Worm's Rock. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Raven guards good as dead. And to think there's no way to save him. Wait, sorry, why is he still alive? Or is there? Sure, surely it's Gortash's principal competition. Why not slit his throat? Well, you because... know something, don't you? I know enough. Let's talk to Will in your camp. Work something out. The Duke's life depends on it. Also, don't make a deal with her, anybody. Deal <laughs> she, with can't the devil. Be, she can't be trusted either. Whoop. Okay. So, so, so now, yeah. So basically, Archduke Ravengard has basically handed over office to Gortash. So he's now basically a nobody. Just the former archduke um and i guess now he's been well, sort of yeah re as, as mazora said relocated um okay. so i guess there's some implication there that we might be able to go and save him it would be kind of good if we to, to maybe perhaps i mean unless one of you guys fancies becoming archduke i think it's probably a good idea to retrieve him and reinstate him after all this yes is, as oh, I'd, um, worthwhile. yeah okay Shall we go into Baldur's Gate proper? Yeah, let's or... do that. No, we've quite... got, more, Sorry, we've got more stuff to explore here. Which way's... Right in here. Door here, the plaque. We've got more stuff barracks. to explore. Which Auto side is which? Personnel. We've not been to Gur Camp. We've not been beyond the gate at Rivington. We've got but... more to explore here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Yeah, but this Ooh. is the... Cutscene? Cutscene, cutscene. What? You notice the gnome slip a lockpick into his pocket. Hey, man of my own craft. You're not a fist. <clears throat> Go on, get out, or I'll, I'll wake the others. Hmm. Sure, if you want me to tell them you were trying to steal their belongings. Fifteen. Well, you found a thief in the barracks. I did. Unfortunately, I have no charisma check. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll roll one more. If I fail it, I fail it. Eleven. No, no dice. Thank you very much, Zeric and Pan Bunny. Eh? You can't just just accuse someone of of being a thief. You've got no business being in here. So that, just clear off. Is that a beard or is that peanut butter smeared all over his face? Mm, neither or. Oh. It's no business of mine. I'll leave him to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of experience there, Jesus. So yeah, sorry, Digby, you're wanting to go oh. to... Where? Gur camp, you said. Yes, the Gur but, so, camp. But that's the wrong way. Uh, we need to go to... Oh, it's the wrong way? Yeah, yeah, that was... Well, <clears throat> we want to go Gura back camp to Rivington. Is back uh, the way. Fast travel to Rivington. There's a gate that we can go through. Uh, to the south. Okay. Right, okay. We also so need to hand in the torso of the clown and stuff to the lady. We need to hand in the torso of the clown. We've got to clear more... up a few. There's a few quest lines here that we can we can clear up. Also, if we get to the yeah, Elf Song to to Tavern the and we find mm. that there's an elf lady and and it's voiced by Jennifer Hale, that would be amazing. Probably not, but you know. Right, where are we going to first? I'm talking to the fist on the gate. Right. Turn you said back, turn back, citizen. no passage in this direction. No passage in this direction. Why not? 
It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, <coughs> and a few of our own as well. <coughs> the cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. We know Damn. that. Sounds like the battle's over then. For now, but I can't let you pass. We might have repelled an advance. Uh, the screaming the coming from the abandoned windmill. Thank you, Aeon and Elthor. Not the gnome again. He's not tied, <laughs> yeah, tied up again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, but meet me up here. Yeah, just come by me. I, I was walking the the other way. Um, walking the other way? You're fucking miles away. Yeah. Yeah, well, you said Gur Camp, so instead of doing that one, I did Worms Crossing. Together, so we don't trigger this weird cutscenes. Yeah, but I mean, you said Gur Camp, so I didn't think I was doing anything, and then I found. The Screaming Windmill. Let's go have a look at the Screaming Windmill. Thank you very much, Loyal Duckling, oh. and Elthor, and Aeon. Thank you, folks. You're what, sorry? I'm full. <laughs> of, uh, of duck. Is that guy duck. moonwalking? Or of the souls of the innocent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's one or the other. Right, so I'll someone you know when digested. straight through their picnic. Pardon me. Yeah, it's trampled it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so down this hatch, I heard moaning. Uh, I'm gonna go okay, down uh, and investigate. Maybe it's a fucking bear. Trolls fucking. Yeah, yeah, we uh, walk it again. Yeah. One fucking uh, balls oh, deep. It's, uh, oh, Jesus fuck. Uh, oh god, my armor, where's my armor? Uh, Hide. Uh, we're hiding, we're hiding, why are we hiding? Okay. What's on oh, the ground? Oh god almighty, kill it quickly. Kill it quickly. That's what's it's been killing the refugees. It's a mind player, kill it. it? It's That's a no, brain-starved that. mind flare. But it's brain-starved, so it hasn't been killing the refugees. I no, I think it's been dragging them down here. But it's brain-starved. It hasn't eaten. There's a final warning. This is a notice demanding that the Miller pay off his debt lest his creditors oust him. Think of oh, pickpocket him. Yeah. A windmill key. Absolute yeah. orders. Newborn. Lifted a note Newborn. from him. Wait, he's not one true, of the. Uh, true yep. soul, Aelin. Your time has come. The absolute calls to all faithful, and you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks. Leave your armor. Leave all insignia of rank behind. You are part of the flaming fist no longer. You have been a loyal true soul, but soon you will be so much more. You will be one of us. Is that a really Ooh. horrible sign, lads? If a, if one of the true souls tadpoles has just turned a, you know, a mind flayer, uh, I mean, like they just could do that second. anyway. Well, look, I mean, it's covered in blood and guts around it. Is that its own, and it hasn't fed yet, which is why it's brain starved? Oh, maybe. Does that imply yeah. that our tadpoles this is, this are starting just to? Happened, maybe. Oh God, what what if it's because the um, yeah, the earthquakes. Yeah, the, the brains maybe starting to maybe like one or two people is starting to like it's starting just, to turn them, isn't it? It's the the, the, the the like it's starting to crack the the defense like. Oh god. Um, I don't yeah, know. I think it's time to. Uh, yeah. Are we just are we just gonna fucking whack it? Why not? It's a fucking yeah. it's a monster. It's a mind flayer. I don't know. Right. Whacking. Three, two, Three, two one. one. You crit on ten. <laughs> what the fuck? Just ignore that. <laughs> oh god. And it's dead. <laughs> Killed it. Nice. Wow. Yeah, look. Recently, its mind is still fresh. You can absorb its potential if you consume it. <laughs> I'm not eating his mind. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, this is um, really bad, guys. What does the you ring of truth Thank you, Thomia. Oh, yeah. It gives you advantage on insight checks. There's also a mind flare brain. Hold on, what does the mind flare brain do? Gone. You can eat that, I'm not eating it. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, one sec, I'm just getting my salt and pepper. <laughs> yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. He's devoured the brain. Stop eating stuff, bro. He's got Come a on. buff on him. What did it do? I don't know. Uh, tapple. Oh, yeah? Another tadpole. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you so the Gur camp, yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm fine, bro. I'm, I'm probably that's probably as far as I'm going to expand my lithid potential. I'm hoping, like, I'm trying to keep it local to the tadpoles. So when the tadpoles removed, limit, um, limit the brain of, damage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and I mean, I already had that fucking 
if Yankee crash machine try and like wrench my brain <laughs> from my skull. Yeah. Uh, I already, I'm already now, like you know, like can't count higher than ten. <laughs> now I can you know. speak French. What? Yeah, exactly. So it's I need one of those. five more to have a grey brain. Oh dear. So the Gur camp is to the east, over this way. Yeah, what's okay. a Gur camp? I don't know what the Gur camp is, but it's apparently something a... Digby wants us to go see. Well, yeah, because you know it's it's. We've not Some, seen it yet. Yeah, exactly. It's it's content that we're not Yeah, let's go have a look. So for those joining the live stream, we're milling around outside the city of Baldur's Gate. Big army is about to attack it and we need to try and stop it. Oh, hello. What level are we again? Level... No, a ten. 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 We said fear. Two more Gandril! Two more level. Two more. It's huh? fucking Gandril! Gandril, sorry, which one's... Gandril, the, um, this guy is, I, unless he's very similarly dressed, is the hunter we encountered oh, outside yes. the witch's cabin. In chat. Richty. I have no memory of this. My friend from the hag swamp. There he is. Your bright light on a dark day. Uh... I wonder if he... Why? What happened? We underestimated an enemy, much like I underestimated you and your vampiric companion. Oh, yes. I know you hid him from me. <clears throat> but this is not the moment to discuss it. This is about the dead, not the undead. We... Frey Valdisk Durovna. Frey Valdisk Ablast. Our tribe left camp on a rescue mission. Only Alma and those you see here returned. <laughs> what killed them? The wretched... Undead. Im orak nete krasin netra. I will say no more. He's speaking Navi. It's not my tale to tell. Mm. No, that shame is mine alone. I thought I knew the faces of all your friends, Gandrel, <laughs> but this one <laughs> is new to me. <laughs> Weirdly no, stacked... I can't get past how fucked up I am. Weirdly stacked granny. So weirdly stacked yeah. granny with the, with the literal face, not voice, but the literal face of Auntie Ethel. Same character. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not doing this on purpose. Which one's Auntie Ethel? Are you, uh, what, uh, come on, so good. This was weeks Please. ago we did Please. this. Who, which one's Auntie Ethel? Please. The hag. The hag. The... Yes. Please. Right. So Auntie good. Ethel's disguise looked like this woman. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like the, like the Irish lady who was like in the swamp, you know. Yeah, no, I remember the hag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember okay. her name was Auntie Ethel. I can't right, re okay. remember what she sounded like. Sorry, carry on. Yeah. <laughs> I dirge. A friend met on the road, my lady. I told you of the stranger in the swamp. They killed not only that fen's hag. But also the undying General Thorm, if the rumours are true. Two fine trophies. Perhaps I can interest you in a third. Uh, what do people feel like? You guys want to go on an undead yeah, hunt? Yeah, fuck it. Sure. We're gods. Yeah. Who knows it more? Perhaps. What do you have in mind? Baldur's Gate is haunted by many things, but one of its most insidious is the vampire Kazador. For years. Oh. His foul spawn have stolen away innocents at night, whisking them back to his palace. Recently, they struck our camp. They took our children, every last one, our whole future. We are monster hunters all. Our purpose is to kill beasts like these. But in our haste to save our little ones, we were rash. We charged straight into an ambush. They tore us to pieces. Vampire spawn and werewolves. I have never seen a vampire's lair so heavily guarded. What's left of my tribe is wounded fight. and broken. We cannot stand against him to save our children. But perhaps the Slayer of Ketherick could. Cool. Let's go kill some vampires. It's too late to save your children. Then we will settle for blood. Casador must be destroyed for the safety of the city and to make sure no one else must feel our pain. Got a point. We're heroes, we'll do it. Yeah. You're, a, you're a hero. Okay. She needs to pay. How much? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, how am I meant to get to this place if it's so well guarded? The main entrance is blockaded, but there is another way. Near the park, you will find a broken tower, mid-repair. Climb the scaffolding, and you can enter his palace. It may be watched, but you will not walk into the slaughter that we did. Okay. All yes. right. We'll do it. Do what I can. If you do this, our entire tribe will be in your debt. On our honor, it will be repaid. No, okay, May right. The gods no. keep you and no. damn your enemies. No freaky blessing shit. Gold, thank you. Gold, <laughs> yes. gems, trinkets. I don't want none of yep. this like, we, oh, we bless you. Welcome to the tribe. <laughs> none of this nonsense. We, yeah? we, can't, we can't pay our rent with your fucking yeah, arms or whatever. Yeah, that's it. Right. Okay, interesting. So this guy was a vampire hunter. Also, um, curiously, mm -hmm. um, seemed to make mention uh, potentially of a Starian there. He said there was there was a vampire. Friend. Yeah, your yeah. undead yeah. friend that you what? hid from us. What was that? I don't remember this. Yeah, that's that's a theme. That's a apparently. Yeah. 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 So someone was hunting a Starian in chapter two. So uh, so oh, uh, this. Fuck. <laughs> Look, okay, we'll, we'll make it very easy, right? I, I'm this... not doing this on purpose, legit. Sorry, who was hunting a Starion in Chapter 2? I don't remember this conversation. It was Chapter 1. Chapter 1? I don't remember this conversation. Gandral, right, okay. Gandral, right in front was... of us, was hunting a Starion. Yeah, so... Well, a so, vampire. Yeah, so, so we arrived at the swamp. This guy uh -huh. was outside the hag's house. He basically alluded to the fact that he had come to make a deal with the hag because he was hunting a creature that he did not know he could best. Um, in the dialogue that he's just said now, he's kind of alluded to that the creature he was hunting was none other than a vampire, a Starian, potentially, by saying that he was our, the, the vampire that we hid from him was the person that he was trying to find at Auntie Ethel's, the, the creature he came to try and bargain with Ethel for, to try and get some help in with a killing. That's what he kind of inferred just then. Um, okay. So yeah, so it could be that this guy maybe wants a Starian dead, or is uh, is here to hunt a Starian. Maybe Casador, if we had a Starian in our party right now, for example, maybe there'd be some rather diving into Casador and maybe a Starian's connections to him. Okay. Uh, but yeah, right. so this this guy is a monster hunter, and he wants to, and he was, I guess, hunting a Starian. After report the suspicious toys, the flaming fist manner. Right. Uh, which is oh, you look, the you look at the quests. Yeah. Just figure if if we're clearing. Yeah, shit. I'll follow. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. Let's uh, yeah. let's hand in some uh, some quests. Like good adventurers. Yeah. Look, Soviet. I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'll link you Helena's document again. Okay. Give yeah. it a read. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I, just... I remember the hag, obviously, everything with the hag, I... the sacrifices yeah. inside, the lady who wanted her husband saved. Yeah. I, I don't remember, um... You do remember. Monster Hunters. Digby, you want to do the honours of... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Manip Nesta. <laughs> this is the guy that was asking for refugee stuff, like donations, and I gave him some religious dogma. Oh, sorry, I was about to say, um, what we did see, though, last stream, is um, a couple of vampires were in a house, and they teleported away, so maybe they're vampires of the Cazador dude. I don't know if they were, yeah, because they right. talked about their master and um, the vampire Asterian. It looks like you have plenty already. You wouldn't be saying that if you'd seen this inventory, or how many refugees we have here. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. I, I, ooh. I can't report this. I actually, I have to go into the barn if I want to report this. Um, I'll try it. Do you? I mean, maybe you don't have the dialogue option? I need to get into the barn right now. Something dangerous might be among the donations. Oh, the kids' toys. They might have, yes. The guy might have donated yeah. the kids' toys. The ones uh, filled with fireworks. Fireworks, yeah. Why was he and doing I'm, that anyway? I'm friends with you. So I can get myself blow up the donations. Blow up the donations. That's what he was planning. Like all the donations are going into this one barn. Imagine if they all went up in flame. But didn't he literally just get back? I'm gonna let you through because I don't want to take any risks. But you better not be lying. 
I and thought that guy had literally just got back from, back to Baldur's Gate. I don't know about that. He did, but he might have been doing it for a while. I hmm. don't know. Nesta's, there's Nesta's warning, a note down there. The requisition barn. We need to find, here we go. Let me read the warning. Thank you, Darkest Demon. It seems Thank you, I have to remind you what this barn is. That this barn is for the refugees, oh. not for your dinner. We're in a fight. The next time I find someone skinning from the cle top, cleans the latrine for the rest of the month. Tao Glennon set off a trap. Yeah, the, so there was. I just found a pile of teddies. I just went to click on it to see what was in it, and it detonated. Manip, what yeah, do you make of that? There's a donations chest there as you well. You're right. Okay. Now give me some room. I think it's trapped. I need oh, to make no, sure no. the rest of these donations are safe. Right. Give the guy some room. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. We know, you know who's responsible. Yeah, we know who's responsible. he's in the brothel. What, 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 again. what kind of piece of shit is trying to blow up children's fucking donations? And you felt sad that we... Hmm? You felt yeah. sad that we, we we put the guy in his... What's it? Uh, yeah, I, I thought we, he's we just have... some innocent bloke, but if he's a fucking... He's trying he's to a, kill... A, yeah, alright, we need to go back to the... Yeah, fucking, go fucking rip his head off! To, back to Charette's caress and have a crack at him. South span of um, Worms Crossing. Shall we? We... There's a mission at the Open Hand Temple that we can go do on the way um, right. to hand in our report on the uh, dead the murderers. priest. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will follow you guys. Out. Yeah, you just tell me where you go in. Uh, and... Get I'll follow you. Yeah. I'm confused. Where where are we going? Sorry. Where are we going? <laughs> I, 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 who's, no one's left the barn. Right, we're going up to the church, which is to the north. <coughs> okay. North then. Lead on. Right. Put your hammer away, love. Fucking okay, hell. What? I, I need to be ready. What, ready for what? Vampires. You're in the middle of a fucking city. In Vampires. The it's, it's the middle of the day. Not Vampires. At the moment. Uh, they were in the <laughs> flop house. Yeah, literally in the middle of the day. No one's Although, still. to be, be fair, I suppose they were inside, so not direct sunlight. Yeah. I actually, Asterion runs about in the daylight, doesn't he? So maybe that yeah. isn't a thing. He <laughs> only does it because of his tadpole. Ah. Oh, really? Yeah. Going on here. This is right. the church. The Open Hand Temple. Now, this is the place that we snuck into the back of. What is that? Oh, <laughs> What, what is, is that? that? What is that? It's what a holy fan. There's fucking bobbing like oh, hold on. in the what earnest. The fuck? Hold on, speak to Busy muddle puddle of their lives. Holy fans are sweet natured yes. little fakiderms who Don't often do. serve as helpers to good line deities. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to the fakiderm. Oh, please tell me he has like a hard boss in the accent. Look, investigator. <laughs> Ron Perlman Robot does the voice. Criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing uh. something. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. <laughs> you are defending I... a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. He's, he's a detective. <laughs> Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, Ranger. <laughs> Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. Ilmater? Don't apologize, you like a load Scott. of bollocks anyway. <clears throat> I wouldn't go that far. But the investigator is being particularly challenging right now. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. No murder story I've ever read has ended simply. I bet there's more afoot here. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. There is. Where can I find the investigator? Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. The brothel. So we're going to the brothel anyway. Yeah. I best get going. Yeah. All I really all... hope you find something. All roads lead we're to the brothel, six, apparently. Yeah. yeah. All roads um, lead to Poontang. Entertainer, all roads lead to that drow lady. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a quick wander around. Right, so there's the wooden hatch we went down. There's a room here we've not been in. There's oh. a plaque on the door. Belfry. Infirmary. Bell ringers justice. Oh, I'm going to go ring some bells one sec. Here lies the Lorgan. Mr. Rose Pennant. Dab, dab, dab. What ails you? Marsh fever? Pedalung? Be quick, I've not got all day. Pity temper is what ails me. Looking into to Lorgan's death, I need to ask you. What do you want to know? Point? Did he die? Slowly. Lorgan was a good man, if naive. He deserved better. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. <laughs> who's Logan just, was who's alive just while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. Oh, I got blood on the roof, by the way. We oh. give them everything. And There's all a... we get is nothing but um, a good do you man remember... to bury. Who... Who's There's a Sherlock? flying cat. There's Who? a flying cat on the roof. Hold on. I've, I've got to speak with animals. I'm coming up. Come up. Come up on to the belfry. Okay. Uh, where's the flying cat? Come join me in this high tower. Oh, oh hello. Right hand door. Tress him, level one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I get down you have the hop down? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm climbing all the way down to get up there, so there must be another way up. Probably. Hello. Did you ring oh, the bell? Hello. Hold on. Clong. 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 Hold on. What if there's like. It's Gail's cat? Gail's what? cat? I'm talking to the cat. Um. Yeah. You notice the Tresum guards a shiny ring and stack of letters. At oh, his feet. um, pigeon uh, going missing? Oh, flying cat. That's why the pigeons are going missing. From the look of these letters, one might <laughs> guess you were responsible for the post house's missing yeah. pigeons. One needn't guess. Pigeon meat is my second favourite. <laughs> Uh, of course. If Pigeon is your second favourite, what's your first? Beholder. <laughs> but it's exceedingly rare to come by. Uh, but let's not get bogged down in semantics. I believe you were just leaving, weren't you? Ta! <laughs> There's a much better Avery across town, if you've already picked over the choice cuts here. That's well, not gonna fool it for long. It's just gonna fly back. Uh, uh oh, it'll be alright. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. fine. With my bonuses, I'm good. Another aviary, you say? Well, that does sound quite interesting. The brood here is getting a little thin. Perhaps while I'm seeking out this new feast hall. I'll pay a few visits around town. I might have sussed some interesting items I'd rather like to get my paws upon. If I find anything interesting, I might even be willing to barter. Might. Tara. Away. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Cats. This is where flying dog gets it. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> flying golden retriever just comes well, in. There's the bundle of letters. <laughs> oh, and here's the postmaster shipment inquiry. Yeah. Well done. Doesn't help us really with who murdered brother whatever his face was. They're like the high priest. I think we solved a it. A letter through... marked as your eyes only, but Come lacking on a now. name. Stop ringing the bell. What? Yeah, Stop I've the got bell. the inquiry. Stop ringing the bell. Um, Stop for the bell. special and direct attention I of Roa <laughs> Munglo only. Look, Roa, you city zent have always been consummate professionals to me, so I don't understand why the Wakim's rest cell is so useless. 
I was supposed to receive several items from them a few days ago, but I haven't heard any. I haven't, he but I have heard absolutely nothing. Could you put out some feelers? Zaris doesn't answer my correspondence anymore. Danzo, the fucking postmaster, is zent and wants the bottle Q has. The bottle, the box. You mean? You, you, no, you remember the the bottle, the the iron flask that's in. Oh no, sorry. Yes, the box. Apologies. Right. Were you meant to be bringing it to them anyway? To the Zent, yes. But it's the fucking postmaster is a Zent agent. Perfect. Okay. Cool, we can have it, um, hand it over to him. Yeah, I uh, may have jumped off the roof. Uh, I'll, I'll meet you in there. Yeah, retrieve the box. Ha! Is it in the can? Ow. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay. Uh, yeah. If there's another hideout that he has, who has? Sorry, the the post him. Yeah, they 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 last they had a they had a like a little cave first act. Yeah, I need the letter or should I just guys. hand the letter over? Well, I've got the box. So I need. He said to not to him. read it. Yeah, yeah. All right, I will send you um, the letter. Uh, Mr. Gladden, there you go. Hello, Danzo. I don't suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? <laughs> I found the letter, but it was very difficult, and I'm afraid my fees have gone up progressively. Oh. Uh, I'll give hold it a, on. I'll just give it, it's up to you. I'll just give it a roll. Oh, I was about. I was gonna give you a bar to give. Oh, I've done yeah. it. Oh, you got it. it. Beats it. Well done. Yes, fine. Just give me the letters. Still sealed. Thank the gods. They still sealed. You've no idea the kindness you've done me. What a relief. Yeah, okay. uh, I sing try letters them again. Right, Danzo. Deliveries are on hold while we sort out some, um, logistical issue. Don't talk to me at all. Ah, okay. Maybe we need to find the cell in the lower city then. Let me try him. Oh, no, he doesn't want to speak to me now either. Uh, cool. I might right. try and talk to the pigeon upstairs. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be by pigeon. the the crossing. Why? What's, uh, what do you think? Do you think the... Sorry, should I send... I, I'm encumbered with this chest. Should I send it back for the time being? Should do. Probably. Yeah, it's probably yeah. We need to go to the oh bottle. Oh my god! Huh? What? Please, I need to, we need to speak to these pigeons. <laughs> okay, right. Let us know when. <laughs> A little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander <laughs> will soon straighten. Oh my god, they're World War One <laughs> fighter pilots! Oh god. Name and rank! <laughs> you know, there's a war on! Rank you in the army? The army? Pah! Those great clodding death stabbers! <laughs> the I Air am Force. Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication <laughs> regiment this side of the Chionfa! State your purpose, ground walker! I don't have all day! That's amazing. Nice. <laughs> I found letters carried by some of your birds. I'm afraid they didn't make it. I suspected as much. Bloody shame! But that's the nature of war. Make your report. How did the battle unfold? <laughs> Flying cat. They fought to the last feather against a truly <laughs> formidable foe. Of course they did. No doubt it was my training gave them the discipline and resolve to stay in the fight. <laughs> I want to your take this pigeon with me. Appreciated. This information will be vital in deciding our new strategy. Dismissed! <laughs> this, is, this is where Messi, the, darling, we're keeping pigeons. Yeah. She's like, what? Uh, I love, I love the. If you take the time, there are so many layers. Yeah. To peel yeah. back. So what the fuck is but this? I would never have, I would never have thought to talk to the. Sorry, what's what? What? <laughs> Look what I found. It's poster Gortash. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw that as well. It doesn't look anything like him. <laughs> like, 
Oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm having that. No. Right, end, so we've it? got a couple of things to resolve. In the Front the First, maker. into the brothel. Run a train over the drow lady. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, right. But, but what kind of Take locomotive it you... I hear you ask? Oi. Oh, it's her! You must have yeah. slipped by me earlier. I remember this one. Raphael's very disappointed you turned him down. He's much shorter. I'm uh, just considering my options. Nothing wrong with that. I hope you make the right choice. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, Bullshit. <laughs> Trade goods. Fuck all. Uh, yeah. Bullshit. Listen. Because I'll only say this once. This fight isn't just about Baldur's Gate, or the Sword Coast, or even Faerun. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns, and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. I don't buy it. Fucking, he's, he's fucking, the motherfucker's yeah, I evil. Don't, I don't believe the devil cares about the fate of the world. I won't pretend he's an altruist, but he's looked at the balance sheet. No world, no souls. Yeah, he's And it's he's hard to get leverage mercenary. on an illithid. They make terrible clients. Yeah, not convinced. Yeah, I'll stop like, so, sorry. Uh, like, we need to no, kill I'll the brain go. to get the damn... I assume, sorry, to get yeah. the crown off of it anyway? Yeah. He's just there like a vulture to pick up the spoils. Yeah. I'll, I'll not tip her hand. Maybe I rejected them too hastily. You did. But that's fine. There's still time. Take your time. Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. The, uh, like, I suppose this is a law question, like a D&D &D thing. Is he killable? I don't know, we'll find out. Because because when we go to that House of Hope to get the hammer, he's almost certainly going to stand his ground and fight us there. So, you know. Oh, Monsieur Chapeau, hmm? a fellow bard. Okay. Right, I'm going to talk to uh, Arthur Gregorio. Yes, the, uh, the toy maker teddy bear dude. Right. <clears throat> Nine hells. You found the explosives. Me all the way. What? How? Nine hells. Whatever you think you know, I, I, I'm sure some gold would help you to forget. What? Well, yeah, what was he doing? Was he trying to kill people? Yeah. Look. If I were after gold, I would have gutted you and taken it. Please don't. What do you want from me? It's not my fault i was forced to do this framed even right they would have killed me if i refused to rig the toys and they're definitely going to kill me now who right who is this they i can't tell you i won't tell you either you tell me or i turn you over to the watch um hmm. I'll try an intimidation check. Uh, it's not my strongest. <laughs> Hold Tiny on, don't man. Don't your dice yet. Have a bardic inspiration. You get a D10. <laughs> <laughs> <Hit the bar. laughs> the, the tiny man shakes a tiny fist. Yeah. I'll have you. <laughs> I'll try again. I'll try I'll again. I'll beat I, you up. I, I shoot people. I don't. Uh... <laughs> there we go. I have intimidation proficiency as well, so. Okay. All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. The teddy bears were an experiment. My greatest invention. A clever little device in their chest allows them to speak. But there's more. Smoke powder. Inside the device. I collect packages from Faloga's fireworks in the lower city and stuff the bears with it why not because i want to because i have to 
Otherwise, they'll kill me. Why? Right, who? Yeah, you, what? You what still you... haven't told me who they are. I don't know who's in charge, but it starts at the fireworks shop. That's where the packages come from. Go there. Tell them Uncle Philogia sent you, and they'll show you the smoke powder. Lots of it. This, this smells like bullshit. Yes, He's going to do a runner. There. I told you what you wanted to know. Uh, now, will you let me go? He just a... comes with an offering. A pass granting you access to the lower city. Don't need it. We're in a Gortash. Oh, yeah, like... <laughs> well, he, he just wants us to, hey, go over there, fuck off, and then he'll run. Yeah, to be honest, so he's been black. So if we to if we to believe it, he's been blackmailed by someone. Um, but if like, we to believe it, I don't buy to, it. Yeah, See, the thing is, I, he I, needs I, to be taken into the custody of the watch so that he can turn Duke's evidence against the people. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, like surely, yeah, prison. I suppose I am an ex-con, not a con anymore. You know, if it, all of this is true, okay, but we can't just let him run off. He, he's making bombs and sending them to refugee donation things. Children, no less. Yeah. Motherfuckers, yeah. Think of the children. He's offering to pay me off. Social, social paid me off when he needed advice about blowing up the last light in. This isn't that far. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean he blew up the last light in? <clears throat> But yeah, um, I, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's one of those. I don't know what. Uh, I don't, I, if, do you guys really want to explore? I, I guess if you guys uh, poke poke me into doing it, then then yeah, we'll we'll, we'll send we'll send him down down to the yeah. down to the slammer. But I'd be, yeah, just a I don't know. Otherwise, otherwise I'll take the gold and let him go. Okay, it's down to me. All right, it's down to you. Down to me. Thanks, but I'll yep. need all your gold as well. Here, take it, all of it. I don't care. <clears throat> You'll never see me again. I, I promise. Lovely. So, yeah, he's a terrorist. Goes free, but right. We uh, Item received: Archducal Coronation Pass, Admission Pass. Simon so Gortash himself and sent it like vanilla and rosewood. We'll get you into the coronation ceremony. Been there, done that. But yeah, that, that's a bit late. Okay, interesting. I don't know actually how much you get. I think he gave me like a shit ton of gold, actually. <laughs> he gave me like five, six hundred gold. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, our, our flying um, human elephants up here. Okay, we're going up. Gonna, gonna poke it. What? Why does everyone come to the brothel? Also, what the fuck did you learn? What do you, what do you mean, why does everyone come to the brothel? Why do you think they're here in the brothel? Everyone's here. They're not here to f fucking play noughts and crosses or whatever. Everyone's here. Yeah. There's not a lot to do in fucking medieval fantasy land. I'm in chat. Oh, sorry. For another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. I, 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 Everybody yeah. caught up? Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, afraid so. I found new evidence, investigator. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? <sighs> I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? Uh, a group of shape-shifting assassins were under the temple, along with more murder victims. While that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, does it? That's what you need if you want to change my mind. Hard evidence. A reason, too, if you're at it. Why was Lorgan killed? Mm. I guess we don't know. No. I know. You do? Yeah. 
I find a list with Father's Fort Lorgan's name on it from oh, yeah, we a did, bunch we? Yeah. of. Um, it was for Battle in the Shits. So yeah, Father Logan's murder is one part, bigger plot, a battle plot. A Baal plot. You as well. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods wall up in fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? Well, we literally have the letter. Yeah. Mm. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. It, does, it all runs like clockwork here. Well, Speaking of runs. what are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! I might commission the twins. Well, oh, again. God. Again? Again? It's, it, you went and shagged them yesterday. How much is no, that no. costing you each time? I, I shagged the bloke yesterday. I've not shagged them both at once yet. Okay, well, I'll find you in 36 seconds. Yeah. I'll oh, wait outside. Yeah. We can help Kithrak Voss on the top floor, but I don't particularly give a fuck about well, him. No, 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 no. No, Kithrak Voss, he, uh, he, he, put, so what, um, oh, what was her name? Um, Lazelle. Lazelle inferred that he might be able to get us into the House of Hope with the hammer. Oh, did he? Yeah, so so Kithrak Voss was that was the <coughs> injured Gith Yankee talking to Raphael here before we arrived. Yeah, this Lazelle seemed to suggest that Voss, as like because I think he was part of uh, Vlakith's intelligence, like like bureau. Oh God, I can't hire both of them. You can't because I need a lover. I need it's a oh, foursome rather than a threesome. You need a threesome. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, all services for the right coin. Right. Uh, heading upstairs. You're getting in there? No, no, I'm alright. Uh, and touching that with a barge pole, man. Yeah. Uh, I need some uh, fucking magical warding to not catch <laughs> the diseases. Yep. Right. That doesn't bode well. Oh, Nymph's Grotto sign. <clears throat> really go peeking into people's rooms. Where is Kithrak Voss? Raphael's still up here. Where's, what did... God, yeah, good luck, social. Right, um... Where is Kithrak Voss? Upstairs, I'm guessing it's upstairs. Should be. He looked pretty beaten up, didn't he? I'm trying to find him. I don't know whether he's upstairs or downstairs. Well, he started upstairs and he left, so... Are you on about Kithrak Voss? Yeah. He's up by me. I found him. All the way up? Right, like... No, he's he's on the balcony. You must have run past him. As in, he's on the uh, the upper landing of the... Uh... Oh, yeah, he's here. Yeah. Give me. I'm, I'm being... Just double-click you. Oh, there Tell me okay. you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will three gifts air. Tell me you took the devil's deal. That is ear Tell me off. you will free yeah. gifts air. I'm not interested in pacting with devils, Voss. Shkaketh. Orpheus will be free. There is no cost too high to unshackle my people. Okay. Yeah, the three Raphael, for me. Raphael wants a powerful crown in trade. Who knows what chaos he might sow? No more than Vlakith will sow in Tunarath and beyond. No more than the Geich will sow across every plain. There is nothing I won't do, nothing I won't give to free Orpheus from the prison. The marks I bear are proof enough of that. But you, you are the one who carries the astral prism. You are the one who must free the prince. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. 
I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Okay. Is Tick. I will yeah, wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the Ooh. hammer in hand. Okay. Can I just say, this is interesting. So but. if you were just listening in on Voss there, because if if he can guarantee... So we were opposed to breaking him out with the hammer because yeah. he would be an unknown. If he turns around and says, smell you later, and wanders off, and then we've lost our protection against the Absolute, we immediately fall under their con its control, right? Yeah. Uh, but if this, the, yeah. if this guy can give us a Garen fucking tea that Orpheus will continue protecting us from his don't be absolute magic, then, you know, as in... Rather than just bust him out and go, hi, you got to trust us. If Voss and his, you know vouch. what I mean? If, if, he, if he can vouch that we won't immediately become absolute fodder. I, yeah. no, no guarantee Orpheus will listen. Orpheus sensed the tadpole before and his guard attacked. Won't he attack again yeah. if we free him? That, that's my fear. That's, yeah, the exactly. prince of the comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Gaeh. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name, but he will see reason. I promise you. Yeah, if he can, if he can swear to that, then that does alter the the equation that we had a little bit, doesn't it? Those. Yes. Because you know, we have no love, I presume, for the Githyanki. But at the same time, there's a mind flayer holding our leash. Who? Okay. Any well, idea where Raphael might keep the Orphic Hammer? A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. He must keep the Orphic Hammer there. Every house has an entrance, Istik, even those in the Hells. You must find it. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. You are wasting your time, and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. Well, of course he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't yeah. want us to listen to him. But yeah, if we can, potentially, oh, yeah, he's, he's not wrong, we do need to destroy the Elder Brain. But if the end result is just having a Mind Flayer click his fingers and turn us, then, you know. Okay. Right, trying to think what else there is to explore, mm -hmm. uh, snaffle around with. Well, should we go and raid the House on House of Hope? But well, we don't know where it is. That's the point. Oh, okay. It, it, like apparently, there it will have. So uh, there's a door somewhere that will lead to it. Something that sort of like appeals mm. to you know. It's, it's, where, where would a, where would the House of Hope be? A place of hope. My guess would potentially be the church. It's in the lower city. Is it? Is it in the lower city? Is it? Yeah, we need to. We need to go through uh, Worms Rock. We've kind of. Okay. Is there? Any, let's just see if there's anything else we need to do here. Disable the Steel Watch. What actually is protected by the Steel Watch? We need to figure out how to disable them. Get Orin's Nether Stone. Impress the Murder Tribunal. We found a list of people marked for death. If we kill two targets from the list and bring a severed hand as proof, we can stand before the Murder Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal. Ooh. Uh, I, um, I have this, spoken to this lady in here who runs the clothing store, and I have the option to tell her that her brother is in danger. I found his name on a serial killer's list. Oh, yeah, yeah. A killer? That's... God's... I have no love from my brother, but that's extreme. Thanks for warning me, but it's him that needs warning, and he never listens to me. Hey? Let me take a look at your wares. <laughs> Sounds good. Get you something a bit right, yeah. fresher your and your current outfit. Assassinated by a serial killer. Yeah. And now um, I've done you this. Uh, and now I've done you this favor. You can sell me your wares. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Just get my slippers. Hey. Right. Done it. Rat kits. Do me proud. He knows the Zent. 
Indeed, Reaper. Old man help. slippers. It's bloody cold. Citizens. Right. Anyway, briefly, chat, I hope you're okay. Once again, sorry for the lack of YouTube content. I'm really hoping that by this evening, by midnight, I should have the final version of this bullshittery, Divinity Bullshittery Part 4, rendering. I really hope it's the final version, at least. Um, yeah, so please bear with me. I've got, like, four small changes to make, and then I'll start a render. It'll take about four hours, and then I'm hoping first check tomorrow morning I'll be able to go yay or nay. I'm assuming that we're going to be able to travel back here for because this is where Gortash is, right? But I'm, uh, assuming, yes. I'm assuming there's going to be no, like, reason not to hit the lower city now. We've done everything that okay. I can immediately think of. Yeah. Well, we don't. We don't. It, it just it continues, doesn't it? It doesn't end the. Uh... No, no. It's it's, it's it's obviously a transition area. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm assuming we can come back to the Worms Crossing. All right. All right. Uh, are you still shagging, uh, Gareth? Uh, I am not currently shagging. Okay, we're at the I entrance am... to the lower city. I am not ready to proceed as I am trading. With the okay. Oh, good man. Oh yeah, you okay? You've seen what I saw. Nothing there though. Hmm. Just panning the camera out. Okay. It's a huge fortress protecting the bridge. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, the, well, it's yeah. The main main gate is mm -hmm. two drawbridges either side. Significant obstacle for any invading force, I guess. Unless the you have dragons. Oh. Yeah. There is an uh, underground bit to the east if you kind of pan your camera around that way. Like there's a bit down at beach level that we've kind of ignored. What? Oh, yeah, if you go east. Down there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, we could go and have a... I mean, I'll go, I'll go have a quick look. Quickly. How do we get there, then? Uh, yeah, jump, so... fly. I've got arrows of transportation. Oh, cute. I sent you exploding arrows. Yes, I found them. Don't worry. Thank you. Yeah, you're very alike yourself. Yeah, I found somebody that sold bombs, so I was a happy man. Whee! All right, so is it down there? Yeah, okay. so I think if we... So, if we all bunch up, I'll uh, feather fall us with a scroll. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, Dirge can fucking fly. Yep. Yeah. Thank Wee. you, sir. Wee. Uh, looks like there's different ways down. Wee. <laughs> well so spotted. We can go... Looks like we can go this way as well. Or it all, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well spotted with the uh, the little rope ladder here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is the way up or the way down. Okay, probably looks it looks like a oh crack into the prison wall. Oh, is prison. this just how you escape if you get imprisoned? I'll just stick my head in. Yeah, this looks like the escape route, perhaps. West down. Yeah, I'm yeah. just quickly exploring the other side. I can't knock this down, I can't. Strong enough. Be uh, I'll give it a whirly. There we go. Like, I've got a survival check by the boat. There's a I'm camp right. in here. Wooden chest. Ooh. Serpent fang toxin, something called malice. What is this? Uh, coat your weapon, uh, constitution saving throw, or they'll be blinded? Just some herbal stuff. Give me the lock. Okay. I don't picking locks and persuading people. Be careful. Right. Guards. <clears throat> no. Prison guard has oh, spotted no. you. It's either lie or fight. Yeah, this was the prison after all. Uh, I've been authorised to inspect the prison. Now stand aside. Oh, God. We're friends, aren't we? What'd you roll? I beat. I, I met it and I beat it. 
Nice. I'm also uh, expert in deception, so I get plus eight to my deception rolls. Somehow the guard buys your excuse. You're free to roam Worms Rock Prison. Okay. We can we can wander around. Hmm. There's probably not anything here though. If this is just the prison. This is a quest. There's a prison entrance. Okay. Small stash of guards, fist. Also, also Valar. Good to hear Valar, but also concerning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hi there, Valar. This is just where we would be imprisoned if yeah. we were caught thievering. Okay. Okay. Should we head back? There, there yeah. is a prisoner in one of these cells, by the looks of things. Yeah. Who? Who? Yes, I'm having a look. It is a man called Otto Ott. Ott? No, talk to him if you want. What do you want? What do you want? Not your attitude, that's for certain. You're the one pestering old men in cages. Now scram with your sourpuss. You're disturbing my sitting time. Hmm, okay. Interesting. I failed a perception check on talking to him. Right. This big double door here just says the entrance. I'm getting... but there is a marker on the other side of it, but I'm assuming that's just going to be like an exit marker. When I mouse over it, it's not very dis... I guess I'll go back. We'll go back out the way we came through the mm -hmm. cellar. At least I will. Then I'll go and explore the cliffside. Okay. Just being thorough, nothing wrong with that. But, uh, I'm just can't stop you already. I'm so, so exhausted. Oh, you me off, you bastard. Yeah. I've just been getting so little Why sleep recently. Sorry. <laughs> where's our where's Dirge gone? I'm out here. I'm just doing other exploring. There's more to explore off to this way. Um, I've been down there. There's a gold ingot for somebody. <sighs> you uh, mm -hmm. loot the box. Can't seem to interact with it. You locked. That's no problem for you. Yeah, yeah, do. My cup of tea. Still breathing, mm. despite everything. Hmm. I found a back way into the fortress. Just Can't so you don't forget, with this. says the note. I can't seem to interact with this crate. Can anybody open that? Uh, hang on. Trying to pick it up. For... Uh, no. Bug, maybe? Perhaps. Hold on. Did you read the note? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I blew that up. It's just not, um, working. Oh, it's, like, shattered, is it? Mm. Just so you don't forget the notes. I'm pretty sure that between the guards, the arrows, and the jugged... The jugged? Uh, Thunderbolt, you'll never survive to read this note, but just in case, I want to make sure that you know what you did to deserve all this, what you did to deserve all this. Remember that shiv you stuck in my leg when you turned me in? That's why. Enjoy your escape while you can, arsewipe. I'll be coming to haunt you in your sleep. <laughs> right. <laughs> God, okay. So someone attempted a prison escape and got backstabbed? Really? Hmm. And I guess that's the corpse. Yeah. The guards fired down. Yeah, yeah. Curious. Okay, well, back up the ladder then. All right, Laura said he is then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I don't think right, we can jump put it, it up any longer. Just yeah, just initiate it. it. All right. Ben, you read it. Let's go. Curious. Okay, so, this will be fun. So for the chat's benefit, we're in Baldur's Gate in the city itself. It's about to be attacked by a massive army. And the leader, the mega brain that controls it is controlled by three crystals, and we've got one of them. So, unless they're all united, then it's going to run amok. Yeah. Elder brain. Hmm? Sorry? Isn't it elder brain? What did I call it? Something lithid. Uh, a mega brain. Sorry, I meant, I meant I think, elder brain. I think you're getting mega mind and sorry, elder brain sorry. mixed. <laughs> There's a great. Presentation! <laughs> <laughs> 
There's a great, uh, there's like a, in the style of that Mega Mind No Bitches meme. But it's, uh, it's just someone that's like created with us, that's like it's drawn with us in the same style. It says, uh, Thou walks alone. <laughs> <laughs> Which is quite funny. I, I mean, does that not strike anyone as weird? What? Like the whole. Okay, so the, the, the central premise of, of. Not the central premise of the game, but one of the main premises of the game, right? Is you've got, you got these companions that you can romance, right? <clears throat> Shag people. Yeah, but think about think about this. How this went down? Essentially, we have been rounded up by terrorists, and then bombs have been put around <laughs> our necks, battle royale style, and then we've all been herded onto a plane. The plane then crashed, and all of us are scattered all over a beach. And our job is to subsequently go to Tahiti to, to Tahiti to find the switch off code which another terrorist has, right? And while we're stopping in hotels on the way to Tahiti to get the code, the concierge of the hotel is critiquing us for not having sex with our fellow victims? Yeah. Isn't that odd? Are you on about? Like, are fucking... You, are you all right? The, 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 the idea that you're meant to romance people who are also victims of this calamity. Just another Daddy's E clone, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier in the shower. I was like... How, do, how, how does romance make any sense in this situation? Okay, all right. Well, welcome to the lower city, in other words. All right. There's stockades. This is beautiful, actually. Ooh. Gorgeous. The Basilisk Gate is where we've arrived at. Okay. Hello. Large there is, there's a city executioner is the first person that we can speak nice. to. Oh, and a, and a body laid down on the ground. Oh, a new set of short drops is how we deal with and troublemakers, clean says color. the executioner. A noose and a short drop is how we yeah. deal with troublemakers. Do you think to like, commit a crime before threatening me? By then it will be too late. I can't help the dead, but I can warn the living. Stay the path and obey the law, and you have nothing to fear. Hmm. I'm beginning to remember why I left Baldur's Gate. <laughs> yes, you were abducted floor. by an illithid. That's why you left Baldur's Gate. Oh, hey! Hey! He does not tolerate no. his respect! Why can't they just hire Scottish people to do Scottish lines? It's always so bad. Uh, has the storm... same. I found the stone... Storm Shore Tabernacle. Is... I thought Tabernacle was a barn. Hold on, I'm speaking oh, to you. Your patron may not enjoy you shopping around the Divine Warlock. It bothers me none. Be you have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Uh, oh, this is traitor. Uh, oh, fuck. Have a quick jog around myself, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is a good trader. He's got oh, really? um, a lot of very rare stuff. Cool. Um, he's got a, a sacred star mace, a mantle of the holy warrior, and the reviving hands gauntlets. I'll uh, <coughs> I'll leave. But yeah, go. If we've got a moment, I might do some selling then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By all means. I think we're in... just exploring the city. Yeah. I think I. Yeah. I think I found potentially uh, the local uh, newspaper. The, the newspaper office. Uh, there is a there's a news hawk at Luan here. I might buy a paper off him. Yeah, yeah. I found the newspaper office. It's called Boulder's. Are we Mouth. just gonna like spread out and? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just have out. a have an explore mm -hmm. and see if we find anything. Oh, of this, this 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 lad this lad needs coaching. That's terrible salesmanship. Get your act together. <laughs> oh, Elf Song Tavern. Yeah, I'm at the old song. I don't care! Stand up straight! Project your voice! Uh, oh, to... oh god, what? I made him cry. <laughs> the, the Elf Song Tavern is the source of uh, my sexual awakening. <laughs> One of. Okay. Uh, is it within force of schooner? Sorry? I didn't have done that. Do you want to uh, Do you want to come for a drink with me, Lump? Hang on, I'm just, uh, I'll just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just selling some bits. I made the six-year-old cry, I feel bad. But the, the, the PlayStation 2 game, Baldur's oh Gate 2 Dark Alliance, I think it was called. Cool. Buy, buy the paper. It's, it's amazing. Hang on. What, what's in the paper? Uh, Feywild Circus Struck by Tragedy, 
Dribbles the clown killed and replaced with absolute spy. Murder in Baldur's Gate, the mouth investigates. Greetings, child of fate. Be welcome to the Stormshore Storm Tabernacle. Um, How may I serve you this day? Yes, Midgard, you remember, you remember. There was an NPC that would give you your first mission in that game, and it was an elf at the Elf Song Tavern, and she had massive knockers. And of course, me being a young thing, I was like, well, well I don't know. I just want to look at this NPC for some reason. I'll send over the uh, I'll send over the paper. There's uh, most of the paper is written in a language I can't speak, but uh, Dirge, you've got the paper now. Look at this. <laughs> Ew. Who I think oh, you are. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> Dirge. Yeah. Oh, you said he was a good trader. He's got no gold. Damn it. Got good things to buy. Ah. Uh. You didn't ask if he was good to sell to. You just said you were going to sell things to. <laughs> that, and I just I, thought, yeah, okay. I, I assumed. Sorry. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um. Hang on. Oh, enforcer Skunar. Okay, I'll find Q. Yeah. So I found the. Uh, I'm at the night song. Just talking to a local patron. It's it's lovely in here. It's it's really nice. It's got like a real nice uh, tavern theme. Hang on, where are you? The orc is speaking bad Scottish and it hurts me. I need a quick word. Ah, oh, the Elf Song Tavern. The Elf Song Tavern. I remember it well. From fucking, yeah, from a Dark Alliance or whatever it is. Obviously, it was, it's been in many Baldur's Gate games. Alan Aylith. <laughs> Ruffle Smythe or whatever her name is. I don't know. Ladies, different... gentlemen, my name is Gareth of the Gate and I am here to entertain you. And here is my band, three and a half men. Yeah. And a one. Hang on a minute. And a two. And a one, two, three. What? All right. I We're coming over. I shall sing you of a song, a song of a bard. I was plucked from the streets round here while I was performing my song. I have met up with That's my companions. The there is one called Dirge who is playing the loop right now. In now, in my little band, where are the rest of my bandmates? I need to have a backing. It looks like the drum Hang only on. supports drum. three songs. Oh, does it? Apparently. What song can you play? Bard dance, old time battles, and the power. We'll play bard dance then. Bard dance is good. I was just going. Yeah, never mind. I'll do this later. Hang on. I was trying to find the old ambience for the Elf Song Tavern. On my way to you. Bard dance? Yeah. Yeah. Failed my performance check. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Oof, tough crowd. We stopped yeah. the sea shanty, they've all bugging off for their drinks again. Yep. Yep. Tavern's, <laughs> tavern's going back. Oh. <laughs> Did an NPC just jump? Yeah, the waiter couldn't get by, so he just <laughs> fucking high jumped over the fucking gnome. <laughs> That's great. And the waiter jumped over the gnome. Hmm. Oh, there's going to be so much to this area. Okay. Oh, there's an actual stage in here. Yeah. Out of piano. Yeah. I was just playing the uh, the original ambience music for the Elf Song Tavern from Yeah, uh, Dark Alliance. Yeah, there seems to be like a nostalgia room. These guys are some nobles type. Interesting. Um, I'm kind of interested to talk to one of the guards. There's uh, apparently a crime scene upstairs in the Elf Song. I'm just going to have a quick word. Hmm. What's going on. Halt, Sivy. Turn back. 
Hold on, Thorny. Yeah, oh, Thunder, oh, uh, sorry. Oh, uh, oh, 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 comedian oh. for you, Gareth. That's really what that bar is. Fuck, where is he? Harvard Willoughby. Some diversion would be welcome. Investigator Valeria, Valeria told me to speak with Constable Devella. Oh, I absolutely want to, want to, I be... want to talk to this chap. Investigator Valeria outranks her. As you were, Sivvy. Fair warning. It easy, Dutch. I'm a bard, Willoughby. Prepare to be served. This investigation underway. I wonder if Stay it's as I remember back. It. Oh, absolutely listening to this conversation. I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Hello, Baldarians. You God. know, I wouldn't Don't be here for tonight, me, except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right. I got fiend zoned. Uh. Oh, bollocks. I told those idiots not to let anyone through. You. Name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. Uh, Valeria scene. sent me. For your sake. Val Valeria, yeah, I'm just bloody... saying his name right. To fetch her another bottle of mead, no doubt. I asked my wizard to yes. cast Shatter. He said Shatter. I hardly know her. The unfortunate colleague. <laughs> Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stelman's dead. And I've got to find who killed her. Wait a minute. Duke still means dead. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, uh, Gareth, I think we're in two convos. Do you want to hold it there? Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Sorry, yeah. So just for a bit of context, hmm. then, we have uh, we spoke to a couple of guards downstairs. The private investigator or whoever it was that we were speaking to um, obviously gave us the ticket to come in and this lady. Um, I don't know whether she's like the captain of the watch or what. I don't know who she's meant to be, but uh, she's in charge of this um, crime scene, whatever it is. I, th I think she commanded the elephant thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've come into this room and uh, there's a load of blood everywhere. And Duke Delmain, whoever Duke Delmain is. But is that, sorry, I, I'm, I realize I'm being smooth brained always, but is that the companion of the Emperor? No. Well, who did he say? What was... wasn't Stelmane. Sorry, well, someone. Else. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. Yeah, um, I'm not sure who Stelmane was. Yeah, maybe Stelmane. Can... Stelmane was a companion of the Emperor. Oh, it was. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that sorry, was her and name. Then I'm being smooth, smooth brain. So, when did she, did she? When was she killed? Like recently? Like, I got the recently. impression that that this was years old history. Maybe, yeah, what? yeah, but he, apparently he... she was still around. But he okay, wasn't he enough. mourning her like in the in the last dream yeah. that we had. I, I thought it was yeah, like years he old. Found out she was dead. Oh, I see. Like literally, just just, yeah. just been killed like, a few minutes ago. Right. Or found out she had just been killed. Yeah. Hello about um. So let's see. There's more at stake than Stelmane's murder now that the uh now that Ball himself is involved. Ball, that's exactly what I. Wait. How do you know about that? Yeah, give the list. What about the murder target list you found while investigating Lorgan's murder? God, that's it. Proof that I was right. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man, Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. He ruled the Iron Throne, oh? a dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, 
the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chionthar. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. Right. Hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, fucking aren't you like his fucking scion? Fucking dirge, or are you are someone else's? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, yeah. We fucking got Baal's yeah, scion with us. Which one are you, sorry? Is it Baal that you're with? The Chosen? Yeah, yeah I'm Baal, one, yeah, I'm, I'm Baal, not Baal's Chosen, I think I'm Baal's son. No, no, they literally call you the Chosen, the Chosen of the Dead Three. I what? I was until or yeah, your memory wiped uh, yeah. me yeah. and memory wiped me and yeah. So was Saravok? It was he a former chosen? Is that a thing? Is it like a rank or some shit? No, I think the chosen is what we're dealing with. I don't think it's a rank he held. Okay, what makes you think it's not the man himself? I've not ruled out the possibility that it is Saravok himself. The brutality of the killings is certainly reminiscent of his work. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts. The depth. The execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me. I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors. Thank you, German in Georgia. Thank you very much, German. And Jomis as well. They told Thank me to you, drop German. it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy <clears throat> theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else God. to do it for me. I can have the blaming like fist you. being on it. You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. Okay. <sighs> um, why not, I guess? What about the other victims on the list? Uh, yeah. The ones who are still alive? There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Oh, oh yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, hello, sir or madam. You yes. don't know me, but you're on a serial killer's list. Ta-ta. Yeah. Know, like, what, what the... I, I, I sort of assumed that they were getting, being killed to be replaced by those shape-shifting things we found. I mean, it's possible. I, I don't know. Like, I, But this sounds like a ritualistic murder yeah. cult as opposed to... Like, I, 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 assume, I assume they were just infiltrators as part of the Absolute. Yeah, I think they are. I don't think everybody got a, a shape changer yet, but mm. yeah, I think that's that's the idea. Look, that's your job, love. It's not not my problem if you only want to help the rich. You don't seem to understand. My job is to help the rich first. But fine, if you're not interested in helping, I guess I'll just have to try and convince my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Once I've secured the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate. Meet me there if you have a change of heart. I might meet you there. I'm not impressed that you're going to secure the oligarchs first. Right. Gareth is in the middle of a showdown. I'm in the middle of a bard off. Oh, what the fuck is he doing? If that's the best the you got, smart stuff. I want to quit before the crowd gets a angry. She said she wasn't interested in necromance. What? Didn't I tell this joke already? What? Look at the state of the both of you. I know, yeah. <laughs> Fucking broke back in Gandalf, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Clapper! <laughs> Our cleric uh... tried to cast healing world on a ham, but it was already cured. <laughs> Pig jokes are never wrong. Well done. A single person applauds from the back of the room. <laughs>
probably out of pity. <laughs> Sorry, smart stuff. No joy for you, I'm afraid. But that sounds like job security for me. Oh. Wasn't a Grand Duke enough? Right. <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> I blame it on the fact that there was a three and a half minute gap between my first and second joke. Those <laughs> two. Candle Hallows tombstones. Oh, remembering the deceased Venus, with sympathy and skill. Uh, Alright, I'm going to explore more of the tavern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm talking around I'm going outside. To talk to uh, I'm going to talk to the Did chef because he's a target of one of the murders. Murder, uh, yeah, if you want to let him no, know. Good. Revere's storehouse. I wish I had a bag of holding. Okay. Hmm. Kitty. I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this cellar yesterday already. Uh, the Hop rats are it. unimportant. Your there. name is on the list of murder targets. You need to hide. No. I need them rats taken oh. care of. Oh. Here's the deal. Okay. I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. Thank you very much, rejected Austrian painter. Thank you, you rejected. Kill rats Thank you. you. Alright, saw that. I'm going down with a fireball. Okay, kill the rats. Then. I mean, we're level 10. Wait, this he is a cat. He is cat. Drunk. Why aren't they? Seeped in bliss? What does that mean? Oh, hold on. Let me speak to the, let me speak to the, uh, let me speak to the cat. Zambomba. What a name for a cat. Mm. Oh, look, tambourine. I small kill those rats, would you? When they're dead, the other servants will feed us. Okay, so it's just a really fucking lazy cat. <laughs> Got it. There's another one Listen by the chef. There you will find my old lodgings. Oh. oh, hey! There's a lot of fucking rats down here, Oh, lads. God. What? Those cats are very lazy. Holy... Um, come, da come down to the basement. Uh, <laughs> I have a thing for this. Well, wait your turn, dirge. Cloud of daggers. Um, what the f okay, a lecky. Apparently, looks exactly Ooh. like Auntie Ethel working oh. in a mortuary. I wasn't done with my turn, Dirge. <laughs> now I'm done yeah. with my turn. What's going on? Oh, okay, Lump's well, turn. Just, I, I run forward and I smack one rat. <laughs> Critical hit. Critical I end my turn. Hit. Come at me, you bastards. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I repost. <laughs> oh, Critical hit. Oh, wow. Ha <laughs> ha, cloud of daggers. Brave adventurers fighting rats in the basement. There are a lot it's of like, rats. It's like the start of every adventure, isn't yeah. it? It's like, go clear the rats Morrowind, out. yeah. Right. My God! Yes, yeah, run through my cloud of daggers, you nice. foolish creatures! <clears throat> right, Mr. Womble, mm -hmm. you're immune to fire, aren't you? No, half immune. Fine, I'll put you're the fucking helmet on. Oh, hold on. Go for it. Uh, it. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, do I want to risk conjuring an elemental when I could just do thunder wave and kill about fifteen fucking rats? Yeah, fucking thunder wave, baby! Ooh. Away you go, rear rat bastards. And <laughs> Thank you, Miss Viking. Thank you very much, Miss Viking. That's very kind. From Gareth of the Gate. Nonsense terror. Hiding my helmet protects my hair. My soft, luxurious hair. Electrical proof, right? Electrical <laughs> proof. Uh, what, what a question. No. <laughs> no? Oh, I thought you were. No. Um... Wait, am okay. I? Uh, Hold very still. Do not react. Don't bother with that. Do Don't bother with that. I'm fine. Archery target. Okay. Bash the last few. 
I will pick up this rat and throw it at the other rat. Hang on. Whoop. Oh, Athletics <laughs> fail. I will end my turn. Yeah. <clears throat> Ow! Oh, oh, it did seven damage. I repost. Yeah, we found the Aaron's, um rooms in the kitchen uh, basement. Ranged attack on the rat. Ha! And it's over. The wine cellar. There's a hidden door that leads further in. Dead shot. Oh yes. Oh, Q, you might want to see this. Known only to those invited to do uh, I can't see it. Whatever it is. So we're in the Elf Song Tavern, and the Dream Visitor tells us that there's a secret oh, passage here where they used to do business. Right. Okay. Instead of just smashing stuff, so we maybe look around. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fucking, the investigator doesn't fucking go downstairs with you. Sorry, I found uh, I've I've been exploring the upper city. I've been walking around while you guys have been uh, down there. Mm -hmm. Just just walking around. Um, I have found a weapons and armor trader. Cool. Um, I found something called the Forge of the Nine, but it's locked up tight. I'm not sure what's going on. I found a small gnome child discarded in an open grave down a back street. And he's been there for so long, he's at risk of bursting through like bloatedness, mm. through, through decay. Um, I've also found um, a very large building with like a wizard's hat... Um, sort of like sign on the front of it which I can only assume is Gale's library that he wants to look ah, for the book about the Nether East Crown let's wait for Q um, do you want me to come down with you? I think um, you should oh there's Gith hostiles shit's, yeah. shit's going down here yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make my way back you, ring, ring me on my, my phone hang on I need to buy I'm just going to buy a bow from this lady so it said so as we entered into this hidden area some traps have been triggered. The gift nearby. Oh god, that's filthy. Okay. Casually right. spending two grand on a bow. God. All right. Let's do this. Let's do some killing. Right. I'm on my way back to the night song. You'll be happy to know that in when I I, I now can crit on fifteens. No. Oh. That's not broken. Well, yeah, just well, that's a build. Yeah, the elf song. So you guys are down in the basement, I presume. Yeah, so going to the kitchen. To the kitchen. So kitchen. the the chef was saying Downstairs. kill the rats in the basement. Right. And okay. then the dream visitor was like, I have a secret den here. Yeah, okay. ominous. And then we yep. open it, and, it, and it's got like a knights with shields, like knights. So what, so what was the organization he made? The mercantile uh, organization was it? Knights yeah. of the Shield, Knight, Knight Shield, something old, like that. Old Republic, something. Uh, when you come down into the basement, watch your step. There's a lot of corpses uh, cooling. What the fuck? The fuck? We killed a shitload what of rats the down here. They had a rat problem. What the fuck? Now they don't. The, s the fucking smell, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> You'll be pleased to know that was mostly me, Gareth of the Gate, and my rat-killing power. I think you need help. Is... They attacked okay, us, in fairness. So they said Gith nearby, or defense is triggered or something? We ready? Yes, ready. so. Going through. <clears throat> oh, wow. Opulent. Blackith has found us. Get rid of them, quickly. The dream visitor told me to get rid of them quickly. Yeah, there's gift yeah. down here. Okay, get oh, ready for a fight. They've got a portal up. Off in the lights so that I can stay hidden. Uh, there's a gate master, Rizel, that mm. seems to be thingy in an um, astral conduit. They've got high um, ground. If I, yeah, can I open on... Um, <laughs> yeah, can I open? Op opening is my classmate. Um, so. Oh yeah, it's a good show, yeah. Yeah, that would take out the portal masters, I think. Right. Well, who I'm going to move further portal? back so that I don't get Who, who are into... the portal masters? Uh, right and left. There's two of them holding the portal portals open. Right, one Gate there Master on the Zerlach right. And left. Gatemaster Rizel. All very bright. Let's see if I can get through quickly, find a dark patch. We have here. 
Yeah, I'm technically in the dark right now. Going through snuffing out candles. Moving with you. Probably as close as I want to get. Right, I'm going to get ready to fire a shot. Up on her. Yeah, I can hit her. From, I'm, I'm going to shoot her now in the side of the head. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready. Firing in three, two, one. Fuck him up. Roll 26. Nice. Portal destroyed. Well done. Let's take him out. Oh. Took a life. Ooh. Now yours will be taken in turn. <laughs> Right, she kind of like went Maybe all guard mode. Maybe they weren't yeah. hostile. Maybe yeah. they weren't hostile. Are we going to talk to them? Well, too late Paladin now. Paladin of Vlakith. Okay, right. Well, I guess I'll open then, shall I? Uh, so, uh, going to use Hunter's Mark. I'm not uh, in combat just yet. Can I? Can you see take? If I can yeah, get... take out the other one quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can get around and do that. Yeah, take take uh, take out the portal, and they can't call in reinforcements. Yeah, so I guess one just one crit from there. Health. No. We we could have had a, maybe a conversation with these guys, maybe. I mean, the, to be fair, our dream visitor said whack them. Yeah, and they're gift. Right. Mind blast. And they're gift. Yeah, yeah. You are a massive racist. Uh, uh, sorry, oh, sorry. A racist against my players. Ho hold racist on. Against the hold on. Against evil races. Literally chaotic and lawful evil races that are here to slave and mur murder and pirate and dominate and to make thralls. Which which evil race is the ginger kid? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Right, okay. Um, uh, uh, sorry, are you getting into the fight, Dirt, or am I carrying on? Yeah, nice. Done. nice! Very nice. Okay. Right, so this lady here, um, she has... I don't want to use, like, my super strong attack against her just yet because she obviously is, like, ready to parry. Which I think she means, like, she halves damage. So what I'm going to do... 19, 26, that was 20, 30. So I'm going to fire a basic shot into her. 99% uh, chance to hit. That should hopefully break her passive. Not going to crit because it will be half damaged. There we go. So it does 10 damage. Then I'm going to fire a normal range shot into a 94% chance to hit with advantage. Uh, not going to use Look of the Fire Realms. 21 plus 2. Nice. I'm going to fire one more shot into a 94%. Not going to crit. 22 plus 2. And then last but not least is my Dreadful Ambusher, which does 20 to 34 damage firing. Not go uh, a rod of twenty seven, maybe it is a crit, I don't know. Twenty six plus two. So not a bad opening turn there. I do still have a bonus action apparently. Did I not apply my hunter's mark? Oh I guess I didn't get around to it. Never mind. Okay, in which case I'm just gonna hold my bonus action by hiding uh, just slightly at the back of the room here in the dark. Uh, hide in the corner here and hope that that's enough, ready to shoot from the shadows. Ending my turn. Okay. Step. No missy step for you, motherfucker! Nice. Got some lump. Ow. Damage. You'll pay for that. And, and that, that too. <laughs> Okie dokie. Magic missile time, baby! <laughs> Up cast the level three. A one. A two. A three, a four, uh, and then I'm going to do a five and a six. Watch home! Nice. Eat my magic missile and offhand crossbow shot. Wah! <laughs> Fuck. End of go. <laughs> hmm. Hey, I don't think I can do anything. Uh, no, Jerpity, I didn't say that. I have... Damn whatever the Emperor thinks or feels, I'm killing them because, well, they're gith. Oh. Fuck you, I'm leaving. And turn. Right. Jumping. Old person. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, I'm gonna psionic dominance them. Nice. Yeah, no spell for you. 
think they both did that. I think you both just did that. Four. Okay. Old personal Ooh, Gareth. Oh no, ah! Gareth got, got held. But he's gonna get guaranteed Good, she's crit. here. Help. I'll try and break her concentration Help. by smacking her. Hit okay, indomitable. I'm going to re-roll. Save. Nice save. Well done. Thank you. I remain hidden. Where in the hells have they gone? They're trying to search for me. Okay. You can see me. <laughs> okay, my turn. So lump beef broth. I need to. Tr yeah. Okay. So I'm going to reach into my inventory and try to. Th so I'm going to throw the dwarven thrower hammer. Oh, I've got a fairly low chance to do it, but I'll try it anyway. So I throw. Ooh, Did it break hit. the concentration? No, no, she saved the concentration save. Yeah, I need to break it. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action to Hunter's Mark this one. No, Hunter's Mark her. I've got a free Digby. Okay, can I get... No, I'll take a... Damn, I'm going to take a hit. I'm going to take it. So I'm going to move here. Here comes a hit on me. Good luck. I'm fine. Okay, going to attack 70%, but with my great weapon mark... No, 45%, I'll keep it off for now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do a... Concussive, distracting, menacing attack. I'm going to do a menacing attack, attempting to intimidate for 70%. I swing. Save. Wow, save the concentration. Bloody right. hell. Okay, action surge. I'm going all in on the ship. Okay. I'm going to... Sorry, that shouldn't be there. Uh, pushing attack, melee, backbreaker. What's this? I'm going to try and knock her prone. 70%. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, did I get any crits? I don't think I did, did I? No, I don't okay. think so. Just a regular melee attack then. <laughs> ah, sorry, Digby. <laughs> I am trying hell? here. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Glennon, <laughs> I appreciate it if you shoot this woman in the face, please. Yeah, yeah, ending my right. turn. So that's all I could do, sorry. All right, I'll just I'll just fire it under your armpit, just into her. There you go. And turn. There oh, you nice, go. well done. Thank you. Nice. Right. Okay. Then I'm going to fire a. So that's a 75% chance to strike there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crouch once again, uh, like so. That's going to put me back in stealth, and that's going to allow me to do a stealth attack because then I'll have advantage. 94% chance to shoot. With a 22 to 44 damage roll, firing. I am going to crit this one. Look at the fire elves. 38 plus 2. Not enough to get the kill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the shadows now, run out behind her, and withdraw my swords. That way, if she tries to move over towards you, Gareth, she'll uh, get a stab in the back. Although, Thank you. it doesn't look like it will be. Uh, she'll get the chance to. You and Dirge go before she does. So, ending my turn. Many Ooh, arrows. Yikes. I'm going to charm him if I can. Exceeded nice. the charm. He's not going to shoot me again. Yeah, he dodged. I'm frightened of her. Uh... Should, can you shoot? It's just not move, isn't it? I can still magic missile her. I didn't, Bunny. How weird. <laughs> and then. Six health. Offhand crossbow might do it. Maybe. I got disadvantage because I'm frightened. Well, give it a go. There you hey! go. Uh, nice. Good shot. Well done. Have some of I must admit, Chan, you're no doubt noticing and, and no doubt you'll, you'll be chortling and taking the piss, but I certainly think that playing the game once every few days, if not more than a week, um, it is, isn't is very conducive to learning the mechanics. I must find out. I'm, I'm almost picking up the stream again. I'm like, I can't remember how this works because we have such breaks between it. I think perhaps playing it straight in in one playthrough to figure out how everything works. Like, legitimately, I didn't know how that throwing weapon worked, uh, despite all the time we've had, because, you know, we play it briefly and then that's it for days. Oof. Nice one. So you'll probably find all the way to the end of the playthrough I make some very basic errors, because I just I can't remember how to do this. Just a look, mate. Hello. Sorry, I'm back. Um, right. Uh... So I'm just trying to... For some reason, the chat have told me that I now have equipped the throwing weapon that I thought I threw. I don't know why. It's um, maybe because it comes it back to your hand. Is that yeah. a thing? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's... I guess it does. 
It makes sense, that, right? It's returned to your that, hand after you threw it. Yeah, it's a dwarven thrower. That's that's what it's made for. Is it unique to this weapon? Yeah. yeah you yes. Throw it and it okay, and that explains it. it. My okay, yeah, I didn't. Right. You literally um, called it the dwarven throwing hammer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for my original weapon. Well, I, I've forgotten what it even looks like, sorry. Uh, here it is. Corpse grinder. Equipping? Right. That's limited my options for this turn, I'm afraid. That's alright. I'm just going to second wind there. And then... So that one's charmed. Just Yeah, we're just going to let you guys continue. Going to stand near here for the sake of Sentinel and end my turn. Right, my turn then. Right, bonus action. Going to actually apply the Hunter's Mark. Going to apply it on the Charmed guy that's level 9. Target is technically out of sight for some reason. What's that about? Move a little bit further back. Try again. Target is out of sight. I... Indeed, Soren. And also, I feel like I'm making excuses, Chad. I apologise. It also doesn't help that whenever we play Baldur's Gate, it's at the end of the workday. I'm always, my concentrations, especially now, I'm just so, I've got such little brain power left. The cunning action dash, which I... Because I, I, I keep saying I'm not a live streamer. I, I, I edit for a living and it's very taxing. I'm going to run out over this way. Uh, from this position, unfortunately, I am illuminated by this candelabra, which I can then turn off so I get my bonus crit chance. I'm going to shoot at this chap. I don't have advantage, so I can't use a special critical hit against him, but I can just fire twice. So, 85% chance to hit with my passive enabled. Firing once. 18 plus 2. Firing twice. Indeed, Soup Soup. Prob probably a good idea. A solo playthrough would let me see many of the NPC things because four player and co sorry, four companions in co-op. There's quite a lot we just can't see because we can't physically take any of the NPCs with us. Ha! You missed. You missed again. <laughs> You're like the fog that gathers over the river. You missed. <laughs> I can't see the target because the target's outside. Hold on. Uh, let me go to there. Uh, hold on. Ah, bugger it. I cannot jump as I need 10 foot of movement speed to do it. Target out of sight. Can't do vicious mockery. That's annoying because that was a really good pun. Fuck. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Telekinesis on her. Yes, I do. I'm going to throw her across the room with my mind powers. Oh, wow. Bloody Jesus hell. Christ. Jesus <laughs> Christ. What the hell? <laughs> throw you across the room with my mind powers and then shoot you. Oh, yeah. God damn. You're not going you the rank of master. Cool. <laughs> uh, I'll shimmy over this way then. And just hit a prone gith yankee. Nice. Kill stealer. I mean... It's what you do as dirge. Uh, Tau would have killed him before you got a chance. <laughs> there you go. And then, he, and then he's not attacking Counter me. Spell. Oh, Thank geez. you. Oh, oh, oh I psionic backlashed him to death, I think. Ooh, hello. Him like a uh, boss. Let us hope she exhausts her forces soon. Got some armor. What's this? Sorry, I found some uh, very rare now boots. Search the, now search the room. Oh, it's Kith yeah. Yankee specific. Yeah, it. I'll just set uh, up. Yeah, this is Kith Yankee specific. Pick it up and sell it. Yeah. Pick it up and sell it. Sell it and I'll split the gold with you. Okay. Pretty sure this is a secret door. I just don't know how to open it. I got it. So if this was a. Oh, the Sword of the Emperor. A two-handed greatsword. Oh, hello. I will pick it up and examine. Uh, sword of the Emperor, Shapeshifter Slayer. This weapon deals an additional 1d4 against shapeshifters or polymorph creatures. But we'll use this to kill Dirge at the end of our playthrough, I think. A magic durability. Uh, the wielder has plus two to saving throw against spells, and it has a variety of different... Uh, Things here. It's a versatile longsword, so I think that can mean it can be main and a flight one handed, two handed and one handed. Is that am I getting that right? Probably something for Dirge? No, he doesn't use swords, does he? No, he doesn't. Well, I mean what's the what's the effect on it? A recipe 
it's in your inventory. Um, Maybe Gareth? No, it deals damage against. It's in my inventory, and my inventory's open. Hold on, so. I'm having a look. Yeah, nah. Not good for me. Ga Gareth, your, your, your sword's, sword's really... of the Emperor. This weapon deals one additional one. This damage against changes to polymorph creatures, and the wielder has a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. I like my singing sword, though. My singing sword gives me bonuses to performance as a bard. But you've got barely any uh, damage on that thing. I mean, the, the Sword of the Emperor is the same level of damage. Does it? And to be fair, yeah. yeah. I, I do 1d10 plus 4 with Fallow Alive. Sword of the but... Emperor is 1d10 plus 1. We weapons tend not oh. to be largely... D it's, it's not a light divinity, really. Like, you, you, how powerful you are with weapons largely comes down to your stats, like mm. strength and stuff. Like, the sword I... helps, but generally they'll have, like, passives and stuff on them. It doesn't mm. usually increase the base damage by much. That that not largely comes down to stats. Yeah. But it's just when it has cool passives. I, f I found some armor as well that I'm wearing. Um, but it's heavy. So it would only be for Soviet. Yeah. Um, sorry, I know that we brought this up before. Q, do you have some software running on your microphone or something? Why? Like, very occasionally, especially when you start a sentence, it spikes very loudly. That could be... Hang on, that is... Bear with me. Probably. Yeah, here we go. Um, Look, everything's monotone, it's fine. And then, like, at the start of the sentence, the hatch. it goes all the way to the red... Let's try that. I don't know whether that's going to be any better. It almost sounds like there's something like um, hmm. like trying to boost briefly until it no normalizes. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. Anyway, hmm. E hub. What's that? I really run that anymore? Uh, oh look, um, the uh, the the monster has um, Stelmain's portrait on the wall. I'll, I'll look into it. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That might be worth a look. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. I was trying to put it back up. I, I, bear with me. He's fine. I'll fix it. <laughs> don't don't tell the, the fucking mind flare. My country said a gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. See, that's fine, isn't it? Notes so, on Mind Flare Anatomy. Um, the Citadel armor is not great, but it's in my inventory and if anybody wants it. Uh, I'm going to go down into the tunnels. Do I want to explore this now? A recipe for Fiddlehead Soup. A favorite meal of mine. Guess I'm going down. When I have need. Like that. Can, a, can a mind here? player eat normal food? Yeah, I guess so. Don't they eat brains? Lower city sewers. Oh, well, oh it's, it's Lazelle. fucking Lazelle! What the fuck are you doing here? Yeah. What the fuck? Squaw! It's not safe here. Lazelle, you're hurt. It's what happened? It's too late. Orin happened. Orin? She seized me from our camp. Bore me here to Baal's enclave. What? She, she slit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. A toast, she said, to her false god. What the fuck? She told me when her cup ran dry, she'd come for the rest of me. Or is this Orin? I'm done for. I will hold her off as long as I'm able. Run while you still can. Don't even think about fighting her. This foe is too powerful. We can take her. Yeah, we're here for her. Yeah. Is she trapped down here? Can we get her? I, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter picking number three because she's like, your party's full right now. Talk to me later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but also, this is like the first time I think we've seen a character outside of camp. Yeah. Yeah, so do you reckon this is Orin? Yeah, possible. Oh, yeah. Three times now she's appeared, like pretending to be someone else. This could be Orin. It doesn't make sense, does it? But would Orin know that she's that that Lazelle's running around fucking naked in the camp? I guess so. Yeah, she's. 
I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I reckon this is Orin. I'm, pro I'm probably going to eat my words, but she's going to be like, ha ha ha, I'm Orin. And I, I will not run. I have no fear of Orin. You'd underestimate Orin the Red. The last mistake you'll ever make. Yeah, this is her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, called it. So Fucking I'm... called it. Jumper, quick. Oh, no, damn. Look at it, crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you and your little pet. See, so, uh, I, I, just once I want this the, there to be like a subversion where just one of the party members walks by her and slits her throat, like while she's yeah. talking. You're like, you silly... Hang on. Yeah, ready my bow. <laughs> <sighs> so eager to feel me drain its life away. Dull wits, dull blade. <laughs> you are not yet ready. I could peel a fine pelt from the mutt I caught sniffing at your heels. Drag skin from flesh. Don't from you touch bone. scratch, you bitch! <laughs> She's got scratch? I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. Who's she talking about? What's she on the about? The murder lord demands a better offering. A child of Baal. One whose veins pump with his poison. I know my slaughter kin is near. So does our father. He wants to see us duel, to taste how we shred each other on his unholy soil. But not yet. Not until my kin proves worthy. The tyrant Gortash must be slaughtered. His netherstone must be taken. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> what, sorry, what's she talking Bring about, plaything? Bring me a stone, and I will set the bait free. Only then can the duel begin. My blood kin and I will create exquisite carnage. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> that is Baal's offer. He will not make another. Huh? Interesting. God damn it! Interesting. So we don't... We don't necessarily want to come through here. Is this is this her domain? Uh, yeah. be, this is uh, why you might want to save it before we commit to a big boss fight. Yeah, just so so, so here's the rub. I think she appeared as Lazel because she's taken Lazel hostage. She's, you reckon? Can we travel back to camp? Is she there? Yeah, I'm, I'm checking in the camp just now for. She's in the camp for. No. She's not in the her. camp. It doesn't look. I can't see her if she is. Oh no! It looks, it looks like she might have been snatched. Snatch is here. He'll be happy to know. Yeah. But yeah, yeah Lazel. My dog's here. I'm happy. Lazel's here, but we don't really care about Will. Yeah, I can't see her. <laughs> it looks like she might have been taken. Yeah. yeah. And, and if we go, if if we try to fight her, without having Gortash's head first, you'll kill Lazel. We can't... Or like, she threatens to kill Lizelle, we, anyway. We can't get to Gortash, because he's surrounded by the entire City Watch. She's not. Yeah, but she's going to yeah. slit Lizelle's throat or something. Well, we're going to get... Well, our throats can... will get slit if we take on Gortash and his Iron Legion or whatever. Yeah, why don't we try? I mean, it's Lizelle at the end of the day. Do we what do you mean really it's Lizelle? Have... He's right. Well... <laughs> <laughs> she's she's a gift. the lever... It turns on the noxious fumes. I mage handed okay. it off. Um, I'm wondering, do you think the the way up uh, might be to this side bit? Like we'll get if we go up this way. Uh, don't know. No. Can you get up there? Yeah, jump maybe. Uh, can we can we jump? Hang on. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, that's a fair point. 
Rakvar, sorry, Rakvar in my chat says that she's already been dead once. We can rebuild her. You know, we re 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 revived her <laughs> after the dragon fight. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, um, okay. I can't jump up there, lads. I lack the athletic ability. I'll give you. Hang, hang on. But like, so, sorry, my point is nothing to do with that. My point is is that Gorta, we won't be able to take Gorta surely, because he's surrounded himself with all the, the guards of the yeah. city. I don't know. Well, why don't we make our way slowly and see if we can't surprise? I mean, I feel like this might be the back way in. To what? And I can that. hear her talking. So no entry, yeah. no exit. <laughs> No entry, no exit. What's through here? Can't see. And Jimmy the lock. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Are we sure about this, lads? Lazelle's life uh... could be on the line. So, what, what's that quest? Um. Well, so, sorry to sound a bit callous. I don't really care about Lazelle. Egypt. And, 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 like, we've got an entire city to save. What's yeah, one gift? What's one person? Yeah. I'm sure you'll feel differently if it's your sacrifice. Uh, well, if oh, it, if it, the... what, m m me, me sacrifice versus a full city of men, women, and children? No, yeah. I don't think so, actually. It seems... Guildhall bartender. If it was Karlak, I might give a shit. Seems like an easy equation here. Guildhall bartender? Excuse Maybe me. Maybe need to go the other way. This, this is, is the Nine Fingers. Is this the Thieves Guild? Yeah. Oh my god, oh, yeah. what the fuck? This guy's tongue is flying across the bar. Oh, wait, oh it really? Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> it's his tongue. It's his tongue. Jesus Christ. Oh dear. It's happened again. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to chat with him. Victory is an himself, yep. so I'm oh. running the... Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum prosecco. Now, what can There's I get lady you crew, Nine Fingers' is bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's get that. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> Another item that reduces my crit by one. Nice. I hear a bard. I hear a bard. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to talk to the bard. Look in your head. I think we just. I'm sorry, come sweetie the, pie. The wrong Ugh. way. Um, I mean, maybe we have. I don't know. Nice gig you've got here. Color me envious. But I think it's best if your hmm. centrum keep to the. The Guildhall Nine Fingers Office. Lord, you mean? Which is exactly why your boss hired us. Stone Lord. What did she just say, sorry? <laughs> Scared shitless of a stone lord. Who's a stone lord? Uh -huh. uh, it was the stone lords were the gang that were attacking the Nine Fingers at the beachhead uh, last session, yeah. the session before. Uh, right, this is just a thieves guild, guild hall. A uh, uh, just. Well, you know what I mean. My, 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 my kind of pace, this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is Digby playing? Hang on. Yeah, another bard. Just having a jam. Hang on. Oh, they've got a flute. Where am I going? Got a Fletcher there. Down here in the... He asked to buy and sell things in the guild hall? I think we have to go back the the other way. Guildmaster. Okay. Um, I mean, it depends whether you want to try and fight it now or fight it next time. Uh, uh, yeah, I kind of run out of time. Uh, can we at least close off the the northern part? We found the guild hall. Close off the northern part. What do you mean, sorry? Yeah, uh, up by me. Oh. We found this guild no, hall, no, but no. there's. Uh, on the More. way. 
Oh, hold on. We've we've got yeah. a. Uh... Uh, what you got? Excuse me. Yeah. It's an orphanage. Oh yeah. Peter. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. <clears throat> we should withdraw our protection at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me. You recall our reports of Ketherick Thorne, general of the absolute, champion of Merkel, unkillable tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. <laughs> oh, what? What? He gets uh, the credit. Yeah. He oh, gets all the credit. Hold second. the phone. Uh, Wait a second. Point, it was me. We're banging on the door. Let us in. You know. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> my fame precedes me. Yes, Shut up. My fame, my <laughs> fame precedes me. Uh, my uh, staff are outside. Uh, <laughs> have you been spying on me? Whichever one gives you the most comfort. The guild is this city's first and last line of defense. It's only natural that we watch the gates for anyone interesting. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. I mean to burn the Absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. Interesting how the Thieves' Guild is going to accomplish such a chat. Such a, First yeah. and last line of defense. Yeah, the Thieves' the Guild. The Thieves' Guild. Are they the thief? Sorry, are we making an assumption? Is this is this the thieves' guild? It seems to be, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. They're in the sewers. Yeah, that, the, these, these the harpers. These guys are wearing the same green uniform as that thieves' guild group that were on the beach fighting against that abs that boat that was had some like uh, night fog on it or whatever it was. Hmm. Um, I need more information uh, before anything. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Hmm. All right. Well, we're kind of interested to, you know, what's... How's your fight against the Absolute going? You know, the, the, you got the, the Flaming Fist up there. I mean, I guess, in a way, if Gortash has authority over the Guard and the City Watch, it would kind of makes sense really that obviously the field thieves guild not being beholden to the fact that Gortash is uh now archduke it would make sense that at least this sub yeah they're trying to subvert whatever's going on you know yeah. they're, they're, you know it's not like we can rely on the flaming fists or anything here they're under the thumb of the new archduke Gortash now yeah, you're saying that the thieves guild this guild may be one of the few we can truly trust yeah yeah it's one of the few entities that doesn't really, yeah, isn't really beholden to the Archduke, and therefore is one that, yeah, we might yeah. be able to trust at least Assuming now. They haven't been infiltrated. Yeah. How's your fight against the Absolute going? <laughs> Which part? The Stone Lords hollowed this place out. Half my crews are fled or in hiding. Orin's faceless try to pierce my ranks every day, while Gortash's toy soldiers control the streets. When the Absolute's army arrives to wage war on the city, our best hope is to make sure they have no leaders in here willing to open the gates for them. Too late with that. Yeah, what the... Last yeah. and last first line fucking... What sort of defense is this? This whole place has been infiltrated up the bum hole. Yeah. I mean, we walked in... <laughs> no, through sorry. the back door. Sorry, Dirge flew in with his evil magic powers through an open gate. Into the yeah. Ford. That was fun. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, um, interesting. So, uh, how do you know about so much of the Absolute? I, I mean, I, I think I know the answer to this. She's going to go oh, everywhere. Yeah. Um, but uh, maybe she'll say something insightful. 
How is it you know most, so much about the cult of the Absolute and its leaders? Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round out the three. Ethric. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. More to it than just the dead three, love. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Uh, yeah, but yeah. All, all, all that is is just the dead three, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing. Never mind. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, water before. Do you need anything else? Uh. Brimington rats. All right. Assuming that the guild does want to work to, yeah, enemy of my enemy and all that. So assuming that the guild does want to work against the uh, the cult of the absolute, what can we do in our limited capacity to make sure that you guys have a better chance in helping us when the big fight comes? I was planning to soften you up a bit first, but straight to business then. Of all the pains in my ass, the absolute was delivered. One in particular keeps growing. Oh. A new gang boss who calls himself the Stone Lord. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no demands, leave no survivors to pass on the message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the cult of the Absolute soon starts sprouting. I I assumed it was a, another cult. Right. Or like a like a another it's player in the game. Nah, just a front for the absolute. You reckon? Right. She just said it. Well, she inferred it. <clears throat> right, and you think he's a cultist? He's a prick, whoever he prays to. We know where he plans to it next. A little operation the guild have run in the city's counting house. Likely my crew has it in hand. Snare set, ready to draw it tight. But I like a little certainty. And you've dealt with bigger bastards handily enough. Hmm. Hold on, the guild has an operation inside the city's bank, I should say. I'm not surprised. Might be more accurate to say the guild is the city's bank. We bought them out years back. Perfectly legitimate. As I said, I like a little certainty. Right. Wait, you took over a bank? Yeah. Why are they but, why are they doing thieves guild shit then if they have a bank? No, <laughs> just, surely it renders all that kind of well, silly. I suppose I suppose if they steal stuff, if they steal people's gold and stuff, owning the bank to balance the, the books, bank. yeah, yeah it makes yeah. makes sense. But, but like owning a bank seems like a way bigger and more profitable operation than whatever you could steal. I don't know. Uh, I mean, An arco communist hat on. Banks are thieves, Womble. Yeah, An arco communist hat off. But, and and deal. <laughs> And deal in levels of currency that a thieves' guild could only dream of prior to owning yeah. the bank. The, the guild made overdraft fees. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, all right. I'll head over and. Uh, um, right, okay. Fine. I hear you, but I wanted to discuss something else. You have my attention. Delve a little deeper. Uh, ran into some of your thugs, the Rivington rats. Oh. Did you enjoy the encounter? Are they the ones that the firework man was using? I think possibly. Yeah. The guild yeah. Fans. yeah. I don't no, think it, they enjoyed no. it. It, it. I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. <laughs> All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly. So I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. Okay. Right. Well, I won't... Da, 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 da. Why do I need the girl? I won't bother with that. It's made it pretty clear. Mm. Right, I guess we'll... Yeah, I'm out of time. Sorry, guys. Yeah, leave it there for now. Interesting. This yeah, It's getting very expansive. It's getting very yeah. expansive. I, I'm finding Act 3 is like... 
everything everything wants my attention and everything <laughs> has a story and i don't know what to do yeah, yeah. like ev every like, every rock uh, under every rock there's direction. another diverging quest well, well, which is good Guild of the Nine. now you have to go to a bank <laughs> it's just yeah. like there's lots i mean christ the number of character models they've made for mm. all this and i mean it feel like you know when you play games and it's like, oh, welcome to the city of blah, blah, blah. And it's like, there's like four streets and like maybe 50 people tops. This actually has the feelings of a city. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, well, cheers, cheers for the game. Yeah, thanks everyone. We'll pick this up again next Monday. Next Monday? Yeah. Um, so, Dirge, did you want to, uh, sorry, Social, did you want to tell the guys what you told me at the start? Uh, about remind you, me about you said that we won't be able to do some days coming up because uh, yeah I'm away to Sydney and Australia uh, for the majority of February okay so well, there will fun. be a break um, coming up fairly soonish yeah no worries it's no from, problem at all from the 10th till March okay yeah no worries so we will have a few week hiatus then alright then okay yeah, yeah no problem uh, let, let's well, in, let's I... endeavour to get right to the final fight, and like we're literally walking into the final fight. Yeah, and then, and then break yeah. four weeks. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. We come back. Tune like, in what are we next doing? Time, but Woody's wrapped up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Who was Gortash? What the fuck? That, that, I'm sorry. That's you. Literally every stream. I'm trying. So I'm trying. <laughs> I'm <laughs> trying. It's, just, it's been funny this yeah. this one because there's been some payoffs from earlier acts that have just went. In my defense, the mark with you. like chapter one, like weeks ago for some of this shit, like, I don't know how you remember. I just, uh, did the characters not make an, any impression on you at all in the no, first No, they did, act? but it's, it's like, it's like, ah, oh, it's God. Fandril the Just, like this guy that we bumped into once outside the Nautiloid, like right. 12 weeks ago. Oh. Hang on. Yeah, actually, hold on. When did we start this? <laughs> Look at the saves. I think we've, we've well, so at least in terms of streams, I've uh, like been obviously like archiving them on my channel as highlights. Mm -hmm. That that's that so we're twenty four sessions in uh, for uh, twenty five sessions in for seventy seventy six hours now. Jesus, hours. September time is when we started. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, we're probably we're probably about seventy hours, including like the fluff and filler at the beginning and the end of the <laughs> streams and stuff. Yeah, go back. They're yeah. behind you. The guy with his tongue. Hello. You see his tongue? <laughs> Is that his tongue? It's his tongue. He goes no, off into the like, next room. He's about to give me a hug. He's, 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 to he's tongue in the guildmaster. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> That's a hell of a tongue, Mister Tickle. Yeah. Right. Abomination. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, there he is. Nice. Um, he's, uh, I must he's go. Not... My planet needs me. <laughs> <laughs> not well. Oh, uh, Baldur's not Gate. Ah, oh, ah, uh, he's tugging me. Uh, uh, <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you all next time then. Uh, yeah. Monday. Yeah, yeah. Catch you, catch you soon, guys. Monday, Monday. Monday. All right, bye. Oh, bloody hell. Right. In the mind <coughs> sanctuary. What the fuck? Can take actions and bonus mm. actions interchangeably as long as it stays within the mind sanctuary. Mm. What the fuck? Cool. Right, anyway, have a good one. Bye. Right. So, thank you for watching, everyone. This is an art rendition of uh, a couple of streams ago where we slew murlocs with particularly well-formed bottoms. Okay, my voice is failing, so I do have to keep it quite brief. On the YouTube side of things, everybody, please know that I'm trying to finish and have nearly finished Divinity Bullshittery Part 4. So the next bullshittery in the RPG before this one, so Divinity 2. Now, I'm hoping that the render that I can do this evening is the final render. Uh, we'll see tomorrow morning, I suppose. It's going to take about four hours to render, so I'll leave it going overnight and wake up early in the morning and give it a review. But what I need to do now, between now and midnight, is I've got about four like little minor issues that I need to do. So, straight back to work. Get these four issues fixed, get the render started, go to bed. That's the plan. And then hopefully, I'll be able to start the next video soon. And it will be your choice this time. So, uh, 
I'm oh, sorry, my voice is going. So it will be your your choice as far as which bullshittery I should do. Right. Thank you again, everyone. Thank you for your patience on, on both live streaming front and uh, YouTube. Please let me leave you in the company of one of my clan mates. Who's doing what? Let me have a look. All right. Okay. So, uh, Jinx is on. Swat's on. Let me leave you in the company of Swat Knight. So he's doing a bit of... What is this? Uh, looks like uh, Pokemon. No, wait. It must be that. Yeah, it's the new um, uh, Pal World. That's Yeah, the uh, survival. I'll leave you with him. He'll explain. Right. Thank you again, folks. Have a lovely, lovely evening. This is Swat Knight. <laughs>